Hello, hello, YouTube. How are you guys doing? And welcome back to the live stream. Today, we're playing some new horror games. Uh, we're going to be playing Lazarus right here, which if you are watching on YouTube and you have followed the channel, you know that I played the demo for this a really long time ago. The premise of this game is super cool. I love the premise. Basically, there's this ship that has disappeared. Four years later, it suddenly reappears out of nowhere. No one knows what happened to the ship. You are the search party that goes on the ship to find out what happened. Why is it back? Why has it disappeared? What can we learn? And it's like a three hour long horror game or something. So yeah, we're gonna check it out. After that, if we have time left over, there's another really cool game that I've been looking forward to. It is called Decimate Drive, which is basically, it is a very interesting. It's a driving horror game, but you're not driving. Uh, the sick, the, did I fuck up the, the thumbnail for? YouTube. Uh, it's a driving horror game, but it's not driving. It is. Oh yeah, it is fucked up. Um, you are on foot, and there are cars that will try to kill you. There's basically possessed cars that'll try to hit you, uh, and you're trying to make your way across the city. It is absolutely terrifying. Did I not do Discord as well? I hate that I have to alt tab because it mutes the game. Uh, but here we go. Done that thing. Hope everyone has a mighty fine day. YouTube works again. I'm happy to report no more BS happening uh, where I can't upload videos and stuff, which I hope will stay that way. Anyway, I already checked the settings. Uh, wait, oh, it didn't update. It didn't save this. Apply. There we go. I want 120 if you sing. Don't really care. Everything else maxed out. Yes, let's go. All right, we're going to hop straight in. Let's see it. New game. Four years ago, a ship called the MTS Insurance in Endurance disappeared on its voyage across the Atlantic Ocean. It has recently reemerged. You are a member of a rescue team sent to investigate a distress signal coming from the once lost cargo vessel. All attempts to communicate with the ship have failed. What a strong premise. Let's go. Oh. There it is. I don't see anyone down there. The storm is pretty bad. The main deck has probably been locked down. We got Simon. We got Carl. Are we going to crash? Can anyone see inside? Why do we have to do this in a storm? I mean, I guess there's no time to lose to me. <laughs> when a ship suddenly reappears after four years. There's nowhere to put the helicopter down. It's a ghost ship. We need to make contact with the crew. I don't think you want to. John, think you can rebel onto the deck? Yes, we can. All right, we're John. What a creative name. Do we even have any clothes on? Why did I just have two naked arms? Excuse me? All right. Are you guys just going to leave me? I'm going to do this all alone? Hello? Okay, this is... Uh bit of a terrible day to do this huh i would like to go inside this looks kind of safe yeah this looks way better oh man i love the storm though as long as we can be inside i'll be totally happy no good lightning struck please i don't know where i'm going but i'm going somewhere oh, ladder key okay primary that's so quiet find a way below the deck what is this? The crane should be able to move this. Okay, what is it? Move the shipping container blocking your path. Okay, we climb up. Now we have the ladder key. I see. Should probably turn down the music slightly. It's a little I mean, it's supposed to be loud, right? Because <laughs> it's uh we're on a stormy ship, but still. It's a little little loud. Mm, let's do 70. Yeah, the ghost ship. <laughs> Yeah, we're definitely going to run into some ghosts here. Uh, climb up here. It should be like a really beefy game, like a three hour long experience or something. I love games that are slightly longer. Just to really be able to dig into whatever they got cooked up here. It's a bit rude that we're doing this all alone. At least the helicopter's still there. Let me guess, we're gonna accidentally hit the helicopter and it's gonna crash or something? Um, 
I would not know how to do this, but apparently I do know how to do this. Alrighty. Now we go back all the way there. And there's totally not going to be something spooky along the way. New Phasmo map. It would be kind of sick. Honestly, imagine the Phasmo map with this premise. <laughs> Let's go ship where you want to go. Yeah, it's... I don't think I've ever played a horror game. I mean, there's Monstrum, which is kind of similar. Hello. Like, Monstrum is on a ship, which I love Monstrum, one of my favorite horror games. But besides that, I haven't played that many games that are on a... on a ship. Alright, we can get in now, finally. Stay nice and dry. Wait, this is not the inside? Can I jump in this game? I cannot jump in this game. Knee-high objects are gonna be the end of me. Oh no. What are we supposed to do? Wait, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, I guess I'm going up here. Fuck. Obra Din is incredible. This is that's not a horror game. Uh excuse me. Is there like a door here? Can I open this door? Oh I can go in here. Alright, let me go inside. Finally. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Weather notice. Access to the main deck will be restricted based on weather conditions. The color of the light indicates the current state of restrictions. Okay, red. Adverse weather. Full lockdown in effect until the weather improves. No access to the main deck as permitted. Okay, so we can't go back out again. Uh, we're stuck here. Well, that is such a clever effect. The, like, ship moving effect. Is there people that have never been on a ship? It is one of the, like, weirdest... Where this things you'll be like on a ship and eventually you'll get used to the movement and then you'll get off the ship laying in your bed and you'll be like why the fuck is my bed moving what the hell is going on there's flies in here still Simon find anything not yet but it looks like we were right about the lockdown make your way up to the superstructure you should be able to release the lockdown from the bridge, and maybe someone up there can tell us what's going on. I don't think you're going to find anyone. If they're... I don't, did they have enough food to survive for four years? Make your way to the superstructure. I also need to move chat because you guys are on top of the uh, objectives. And the sound is still too loud, actually. I mean, unless it's not as loud for you guys as it is. Wait, did it never save the sound? I press enter. There should be some feedback on whether it saves or not. Is it saved now? No, wait, I'm clicking enter. It's not saving the... What? Okay, now... Wait, wh huh? Why did it save now and not before? You heard me smack the key. Okay, you have to click on the bar and then press enter. Okay. If you don't... Like, if you select it like this and then press enter, now it does nothing. Even though I was actively moving the bar... I have to reselect it with my mouse, then press enter. What a stupid system. Okay. All right, we'll keep it at... S That's so dumb. All right, there we go. Okay. Uh, how are these still alive out here? I guess they had a little lot to eat. First date. Uh, no one's here yet. What could possibly have gone wrong in those four years? We need a code. Okay. So we're going to be paying... I remember this game is very hard. It has some difficult puzzles, so we'll need to pay a lot of attention. Search efforts are on their way to locate a research ship that has gone missing in the Atlantic. The ship, which was designed to dredge up important archaeological, archaeological relics from the seabed, has gone missing along with its entire crew, including renowned archaeologist Dr. Alfred Hayes. Wait, how would there be... An, is this the ship that we're on right now? How would they have this newspaper if they were missing I'm, I'm assuming it's a different ship 34 missing in research vessel disappearance uh there's no other page oh there's another dr hayes the lead researcher for the expedition had fi reported finding a most unusual artifact before the ship's disappearance no further details are transmitted leaving researchers to speculate on what this new discovery could have been this article seems to be m the most recent in a stack of newspaper clippings of similar disappearances going back decades Interesting. So they knew about it. Uh, notes you've read are added to the archive. Thank you. I'm 
hearing creepy noises all around. They definitely nailed the ship atmosphere. I think I've only played... I can definitely count the amount of horror games I've played that are on a ship on, like, one hand. Can I kick that? Can we take the elevator? We can't. Uh, authorized personnel only. I can't go in there. I'm not authorized. How am I doing? I'm doing mighty fine today. How are you doing? We can go even deeper. But I'll check this first. Never mind, it's locked. Risk assessment. It is the duty of an employee to... Or of an employer... It's the duty of an employee to cooperate, blah, blah, blah. Okay, too much. Too actual guideline. Not interested. Who reads the safety guidelines? Too long, didn't read. Plus, I don't give a shit. You don't pay me enough for this. They really should send Carl out here. I'm not, I'm not qualified for these. Hi. Um. Do I have a flashlight? I don't have a flashlight. Maybe you should have brought a flashlight, you dumbass. That is, it's a statue with barnacles on it. It's totally not gonna move while I look away from it. Totally. <laughs> is it gonna be moved now? Uh oh, they're dead. Okay, you're still there. That was my main concern. All right, you freaking exploded, bro. Uh, we need... It can't be broken by hand. Not with that attitude. Control the crouch. Uh, Henry and the doctor left to destroy the communications equipment two days ago. They still are back. At this point, we can only assume that they're dead. Can I check in these lockers? I cannot check in these lockers. Hello there, sir. You are also exploded in a pile of blood. That's totally not ominous. Aha! 1947. We had a code before, right, that we needed? 1947 is going to be the code. We can hide. I don't like that. I love the graphics, by the way. Incredible. Uh, saving? Ah, I see. Game saved. I can't go in there. Okay, well, we'll go all the way back to that code thing. Can we crouch? Can we crouch down here, by the way? We can. Hi. Um, okay then. Do I go in there? I guess that's just a spooky zone. I don't want to go there. <laughs> totally not. <laughs> Completely terrifying. Right, I don't think there's anything more here. You are definitely going to jump scare me later. Alright then. <laughs> We're fine. Where was this? This was like all the way back, if I remember. Not that way. Excuse me. Numbers? The numbers, Mason? What do they mean? I don't know what they mean, but let's see. So we had 1947, right? Or, yeah, 19, if I remember correctly, 47. Which gives us, what now? An anchor. Picked up anchor relic. Is that part of the artifact? What are we going to do with that? Are we going to put that somewhere? Are we going to put that on the statue? Going to bring him back to life? I don't know. I'm going back. <laughs> Lethal company with RTX on. Uh, excuse me. Oh, it's just full. I'm moving now. I thought it was going to be standing there. <laughs> Jake Tully, thank you for the four. Can I lean? I can't lean in this game. Am I going insane or are you trolling me? Sir? Okay, well, we're in the right place. Can we open this door with the relic? We can. Aha. Uh -huh. Perfectly balanced like all things should be. A lot of blood coming from there, though. I think that's just red light, but that looks disgusting. Did you guys poop in the water for, like, four years straight? Hi. There's something not right with this place, man. Workshop. I, that's where I came from. I like that they actually... I mean, it's still some long hallways. But I like when these ship 
maps. Like, I've played so many games where they're, like, on a, a spaceship or ship or some kind of, like, submarine, something like that. And they never give a shit about the layout making any sense. Like, they'll just have these really long hallways that absolutely make no sense on, like, a crowded or a really tight ship uh, space. So I, I like it when they actually think about environmental, like, what the environment would look like. Some of the crew were desperately trying to get to the main deck today, despite the captain's orders not to go outside. They were adamant that they had to go get above deck, and some even had to be physically restrained. The weather lock system has been overridden to stop anyone from trying this again. Like it or not, we're all stuck here now. Okay, so they... Um... They're abusing the weather lock system, even though it was actually stormy just now. That is... It's been like this forever. What was there? There was something in that hallway a moment ago. Um... Shadow? Hi. You got something for me, sir? Do. Oh, it's not fully stone. Alrighty then. Picked up stairwell key. You look very ominous. Shift to run, excuse me. <laughs> Alright then. Love it when games use shift to run. Okay. What the fuck? Where did we- we got the key for what now? Stairwell key? Oh, that's for that door that was locked before. Okay. Do so we have to go back through? I'm very suspicious of having to go back through the same area. There's definitely gonna be stuff going on. Uh, it looks like we're leaking fuel. We need to head back now, but we'll return as soon as possible. We'll be out of communication range until then. You guys are useless. There's like four people on that ship. At least it's someone else as well. Why am I alone? How are you leaking fuel? That seems like uh, terrible. <laughs> How did it even happen? I'm going to save the game because I am scared that there will be a monster that will come after me. I don't remember you being there before. Cookie man, maybe he was there before. Maybe I'm just crazy. What the fuck? Okay, I can't open that anymore. I would really like a flashlight. Boop. Okay, it wasn't real. I'm, I'm insane. This is like some Man of Madan shit where we where there's like smoke on the ship and it's driven people mad or something or there's something else going on. Stairwell, thank you. First level completed or something. Okay then. This is... <laughs> I feel like they wouldn't build stairwells like this on a ship. They would rather just do ladders, but um, I'm fine with that. I'll take a stairwell. Yeah, someone went crazy. <laughs> My Twitch is bugged and still says 60 seconds. It shouldn't. No, it doesn't. Not on my screen, at least. And it also is in the title of the stream, yes. Um. I can't go up. That's blocked, so I guess we're going down. Hi, there's more of these. Let me guess, the crew turn into these guys. That's a lot of blood. Oh, they, there's better, there's gotta be like a time where they're gonna turn into coil heads. Hi. You do, guys don't got any eyeballs, so you better not do anything funny. More safe stations, okay. I really want to get a flashlight. I'm assuming they'll give me one down the line. I'm going to go there because I can actually see that, even though this is a very long, spooky-ass hallway. Weep, woo. Aha. I can't open this. Never mind. I thought this was going to be secrets and stuff. Uh, what the hell is this wooden door doing on a ship? That feels like it's not going to help the structural integrity of this place. 
Eldritch to give it the 29. Um, stuff just broke. I still can't go in here, though. I guess we'll go back again. There's obviously... Oh. Thank you, sir. <laughs> He's got stabbed in the heart, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Picked up crowbar. Can I smack these guys? I really want to smack these guys. Can I turn off television? I can't. Okay, so we have a crowbar. Can we open this door with the crowbar or do we go further back? We cannot. Can't be a horror game without a crowbar. That's very true. Crowbar. Bolt cutters. Piece of shit. <laughs> Those are required. Crowbar, bolt cutters, flashlight, press shift to run, press control to crouch. I mean, those are kind of with any game. Uh, what? Do I go in this darkness? I don't think that's a good, it's too dark. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, can we, we cannot go further down. We can go up again, but what's the point? Let's see. something here we need there was a button but that just looks like decoration okay we can't go back out i guess we yeah lockers to hide of course the horror horror checklist um <clears throat> yeah i don't know where to use this it's gotta be over there excuse me did this move or am I insane? Hi. You guys know where you should use this crowbar? Creepy, pre creepy stone guys? I can't turn the breaker back on. Use the crowbar anywhere. Oh, there's a doorway with planks on it all the way back. Yeah, sh true. Oh my God. I didn't think we could go through that door. Of course. I see. You're back. Welcome back. Okay, we can go through here. So we can go to the board door. The door with planks. Yes, indeed. That was here. Hi. That door is open again. That was closed before. Are you still here? You are still here. Okay, anyway, we can now use the crowbar. We're very efficient with it. We're definitely going to be attacked soon, I should probably save. Uh, I'm going to save really quick. Because I don't know what's going to go down. But it'll probably kill me. Ooh, more notes. The statue started to appear on the third day. It was just one or two at first, but the but more would show up every day. And by the end of the week, there were dozens of them. Multiple pages have been torn out. Some, how is that possible? It's just one page. Some of the statues have started moving. They've killed three people already when, evacuate, when evacuating the quarantined areas. I whistled to get the crew's attention and one of the statues whistled back. <laughs> We've only had one more fatality in the last week. Whistling has proven to an effective way of avoiding danger, though they won't respond if you're too close. Still, I think it would be best for the rest of us to find a safe place to hole up for now. Uh, multiple pages have been thrown out. There's not many left of us now. The engines have stopped, but we can't get to the bridge. There's something else on the ship, and it's... It stalks the corridors looking for survivors. The safest place for us now is in this room. I just hope we're rescued soon. Okay, then. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's so stupid. Flashlight! Let's go! Finally. Okay, flashlight. No batteries either, so we just have permanent flashlight. Where is that coming from? Okay, we should... I know I said I should save before. I should really save now. <laughs> Where is that? Okay, so it's down that hallway. 
but I need to go here because I have a flashlight now, which means I can go into that too dark area. Is that your ass whispering back to me, sir? Let's see. It is that guy. <laughs> That's so good. Oh. Yup. All right. It's just that guy. He's sitting there. He's chilling. Doesn't don't matter. Don't leave me alone. I don't know if they're. I mean, I guess they do attack. That's what they said. Okay. We need to go back to the other statues. We can be friends, you know. So they're not the crew then, because I was expecting the crew probably turned into these guys. Because that's usually how these games work, but I guess that's not how it works here. Did I even see this? At our last stop, we picked up an extra pass passenger. Well, it's not unheard of, it's definitely out of the ordinary. I've tried asking the captain about the new arrival, but he dodges the question every time. So far, the mystery passenger is mostly kept to himself, but I'll be keeping an eye on him. Alright, that is new. Was that the, was the mystery statue? Dark means scary. That's kind of very true. No whistling. Okay, no one whistles back. I mean, it might be you, though. Don't fucking jump scare me. I'm actually going to scream. It's locked. Excuse me! Someone like deep down this hallway there. What the fuck? He's in there. But I have to go there. What do you want from me? I can't just sit back here. I guess I have a hiding spot here though. We'll be fine. We can run to the hiding spot. Oh, it's this again. Wait, wait, wait. We went in a circle. Oh, there's way more now. I didn't even see these before because it was so fucking dark here. They've been here this whole time. Uh, we haven't seen this door. Right, I'm gonna check this. I don't see any pick up item. Have you been whist whistling at me? Uh, the slides are missing. We need to get slides already then. There's a hiding spot. M Mosaic Kyle, thank you for the do donation. Or for the 10 gift subs. Thank you. All these breaker boxes I can't even touch. I don't have a shadow, I'm a vampire. Well, that's not how that works, right? Reflections with the vampires. <laughs> Close. Close enough. I said they're down there. Okay. Uh, he's killed most of us, but not just killed. Some of us he marked. A pair of old coins placed over the eyes. After a time, the body starts to move again. I haven't seen what happens next, but I've heard it. But I've heard it. Bones twisting, flesh tearing, and then silence. The body is gone after that. Most of it, anyway. Alrighty, then. That is totally not ominous. Hi there, sir. That is not one of those statues. That's a different thing. Look at Skelly Boy. Oh, he's big. He's got a staff. Don't touch me. <laughs> he's not going to look in the one hiding spot. I'm so glad. Thank you so much. This is just, yeah, this, this gives me monster vibes. Monster is such a good game. If you haven't played it or haven't watched me play it, highly recommend. Okay, now we have to be careful. Is that the mysterious passenger? Is there a save point here? Because I could really use one. Um. Alrighty then. Pull the pin. Aim at the... I thought it was a grenade. Uh, aim at the base. Squeeze, trigger, sweep. Okay. Uh, we already read that. We didn't even find anything here besides a monster. Not whistling back. That's good, right? Hi. Ah, uh, there's a slide. They all stopped at the same time. All the clocks. Okay, the clocks are going to be the code. Hi, sir. What are you doing? Okay, we need to find a clock. I haven't seen a clock yet, though. I don't remember. 
Rush. Rush, thank you for the 19 months. Uh, we didn't, don't, I mean, that was a slide, but we didn't actually pick it up. All right, I'm going to go back. Let's see if we can find a clock. It's, it looked like it was in this area there. Um, 1107. Is that going to be the code? I'm assuming. What was... Oh, sorry. Wait. 11035. So, or 1135. Sorry, I'm stupid as hell. <laughs> I was like, what are you guys saying? Oh, yeah. That makes a lot more sense. 1135. That's how clocks work. There we go. <laughs> screw that's is that a screwdriver? It's a flathead screwdriver. Can I stab these guys? That's a lot of, Wait, is that your blood, sir? Did you no, that's not your blood. What the fuck is over there? There's just a bunch of blood. They just put uh, some blood on the floor. Lovely. Okay, did we need to screw anything? I don't remember. I don't remember. There was that door that we wanted to get into. There's obviously this we want to do something with. No whistling back. That's good. Let's check these doors again. Maybe something we can do with them now. All right, can we move this in any way? We cannot. We also can't open that door. All right, we'll check back. Maybe something will happen. Probably. Where he came from. Oh god. I don't know if I should whistle because that makes him know where I am, right? Hi. Save. Yeah, I, if I can find the save point again. Wait, since when is this closed? Excuse me? Oh, no, it's keeps going. Storage. Oh, hello there. Wait, I've not been here before. What's this? It is a... It's locked. Can I not open that with the screwdriver? It can hide here, which is concerning. Hidden obol found one of seven collected. Okay, then. We're finding hidden coins. Hi. Can I go into any of these doors? I cannot go into any of these doors. The fuck? I mean, there's got to be one room that has something in it. Um, we're back here. Save the game. Yes, let's go. Lockers. I mean, the lockers you can hide in, but why would that do anything? Okay, he's further down. Oh, here. This is the screwdriver. Yay, we can go into the vent. Don't be sus. Hi. That's a lot of blood once again. I don't know whether or not... Wait, what the fuck? Is this just a shortcut? Or can I go in here now? I can't go in here now, I see. I'm assuming that's what we... That's just a head or something. What the fuck is that? The fuck is this? It's like a half a torso. It's like a quarter of a torso. I think. <laughs> Moon sigil. Okay, that's for that one special door. And then some slides. Okay, we can see more inf more information on that probably. Any like lore pages around here? I love that they're just so politely sitting. Uh, the crew and I have been able to find out a little more about our mysterious passenger. His name is Aaron Hayes. A doctor of archaeology. Turns out he has some cargo stowed in the hold, but I haven't been able to figure out, find out what it is yet. The whole situation is just suspicious. Okay. Let me guess. He stored the uh, monster that is chasing us right now in the hold. We can hide here. Unlock it. All right, we have to go back to projector room. We can do that without dying. Hi. <laughs> is that you guys? TV is deaf. Thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you. Oh, let's see the projector slides. Uh, 
room with the locker. I remember that. Then we have same table with the locker. Let me guess. There's a hidden thing somewhere. Ah, hidden button behind the thing. Could you get that beforehand? All right, hidden button behind the locker room. Or oh Jesus, what the fuck? Huh? Am I insane or was there a guy like a uh, huh? <laughs> Where'd he go? I shook my screen and he was gone. <laughs> the fuck? Let's get the crap out of me. All right then. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there was a uh, okay, I'm not insane yet. <laughs> back here right Shannon thank you for the five gifts ups thank you <clears throat> this right yeah this room okay and then we click aha uh -huh. we could probably not do that beforehand but check thank you for the 22 and answer graph thank you for the 17 as well bada bing bada boom press switch ah and now we got the sun sigil, which is the last thing I needed. Uh, DB's dead, thinking about the five more gift subs. Okay, so now we can go back to that spooky door. No whistling. Uh, and open it up, which was at the end of this hallway. I remember. Hello. I'm going to save the game. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate their save points all around. Anyway. Wait, that's where I need to go. Why are you there? All right, put them on. Play sigil, play sigil. Oh, Jesus! Oh, hello! Open the door! Oh, God. Da -da 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 -da. I can't do anything! What am I supposed to do? Go! Oh, come on, bro! I was waiting for the door to open. Oh, I'm fine. Hi. All right, so much for that door. We're going somewhere else. He is chasing me now. I think that's where the demo ended, wasn't it? I remember that, that monster now. It's been so long since I played the demo. <laughs> yeah, shift to run, thank you. So we're already in. I remember this took me like a, an hour plus to do on the first time. I got so stuck in this game. I guess we're just better now. <laughs> Hi, why is your head so small? Yeah, I'm dead. Why did you just not run away? Oh god. Woo! It gives me some like uh, Outlast vibes where the big guy grabs you and throws you. Remember that? And then the. <laughs> and then the doctor finds you here. I think that was the that was the cutout point you before, where it was like uh, end of the demo. So now we're all in new stuff, new territory. Let's go. Uh, survived the fall from the engineering deck. Yeah, luckily there were like about 17 bodies breaking my fall here. I appreciate that so much. Thank you guys. That is a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, we cannot climb across those. Nope, of course we can't. Uh, first aid kit. Could I use the first aid kit? I can't. Emergency heal. They should have used that. Teamwork. I'm gonna get jump scared. Okay, then. So quiet. Hey! You there! I saw that. Another one of those fuckers. How did you get away without making a noise? A save point? I appreciate it. Okay, then. We need a fuse! Oh my god, this game. <laughs> I was like when I remember when I was doing the checklist this one was missing fuse <laughs> of course Why is that always a thing in a horror game where you have to find a fuse dude? We have we need to make like a horror game bingo and play I'm not saying this is a bad game by the way I love this game But that would be actually like really funny to play a bunch of like short horror games and do like horror game bingo Where it's like what would we put on there fuse? crowbar press shift to run um, red means scary. That one for sure. 
What else? Hiding spots? Uh, we came upon a fog bank today. There was no chance of sailing around it. Loud, loud equals scary. Loud jump scare. That's a good one. No starting flashlight is a great one too. And then you, <laughs> and then you find it later. There was no chance. Oh, you know what is another one that always pisses me off? It's like the, um, uh, I don't need that right now, or I don't need to go there right now. And then later on, you're like, oh man, I should really have the one thing that I left behind for literally no fucking reason at all. Like a dumbass. There was no chance of sailing around it, so we had to sail straight through. Something, something about it makes me uneasy. With everything else going on aboard the ship, it feels like a bad omen. It's Too Dark is also a pretty good one. I mean, we're kind of just <laughs> hammering on this game. Since it's the one we're playing right now, so we're most familiar with the tropes this one is doing. Hi. I'm gonna be able to climb on that? How the fuck are you gonna do that? You couldn't climb over a knee-high object. Shannon, thank you for the five gift subs. Um, is he gonna jump that? You are insane, sir? Suddenly you can jump? Steam leak jump scare is a great one too, yes. <laughs> We're definitely gonna see that in this game. Going through a vent is another one, kind of. <laughs> that actually sounds really fun. The horror game bingo. Phone ring jump scare. Oh my god, Jesus. Do I have to hide? Just an E or like a, a Euro sign. Um, all right, then we have a hiding. No, we don't have hiding spots. They're, they're blocked. Ah, I see. We need to fill in. So we have a green Euro sign. We need to find all the things. Let me guess. There's going to be one like under a table somewhere. Uh, but keep an eye on Dr. Hayes throughout the voyage, and he's behaving strangely. He tends to avoid the crew and refuses to talk to- I love that there's just random notes. That might be another one. Random note laying around somewhere. Or like, you know how the notes end? If you're reading this! And then it like cuts off. If you're reading this, that means I'm gone. You need to remember. <laughs> and then, ah, dies before it can finish this is the note. And he's behaving very strangely. He tends to avoid the crew and refuses to talk to anyone. Instead, he usually occupies his time tinkering with strange contraptions. He's installed some unusual door locking mechanism around the ship. You can't even go from the workshop to the boiler now. What? And the captain won't do anything about it. What the fuck was that? That pisses us only. Thank you for the 50 gift subs. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, there's gotta be more of those signs around, right? Maybe turning off flashlight will help. There's another one. Aha, we have, I don't know what that, I mean, it kind of looks like a penis. Try not to mention penis challenge, difficulty level impossible. That's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's more a me issue though. Okay, um, I mean, what else would you describe that as? <laughs> it's a sideways pee pee, dude. All right, this one, then we have light blue and purple that we, oh, that we still need to collect. Where is it? If we can get one more, we can brute force the remaining one. Um, so where is it? Where are you hiding? Oh, there. Aha! There's one. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What is this? There is... God damn it. Like a four, kind of? There is a trident. Okay, well, that's all. And there's the other one. Never mind. We can get all. Trident and then like a little demon guy. Okay, trident in purple, little demon guy in blue. Uh, trident, and it's already good. And then we just need little demon guy. And then it's done, baby, let's go. I heard they're doing a remaster of Age of Mythology. Age of Mythology is like one of my childhood favorite games. I remember when my dad borrowed the Age of Mythology from the library and then fucking copied the disc so we could play it forever. Remember when you could get games from the library? That shit was fire. It's locked. Locked, of course. Oh, another horror game trope 
it's locked from this side, so you have to like unlock it from the other side. That's a classic too. You still can. I haven't been to the library since I was a literal like mm, turbo child. Yeah, ancient mythology is amazing. You wouldn't download a car. I would definitely download a video game though. A blockbuster. Right, we can go in there. Is that the only way to go? Is there something in here? You're not infected, are you? You'll need my help if you want to get out of here, but I want something from you first. Excuse me. Wait, you can actually hear his voice. Grab it for me and I'll show you. There was actually voice acting. It wasn't just rum or mumbling. Okay. Shipping manifest. Grab it for me and I'll, I'll give you the way out. Why do you need that? Uh, so there's a way to go there, obviously, and there's a way to go here. What is this way? Television. Hello there, more lore. Oh! Oh no, it's... It's fucking coil head or something. I don't know what the hell, but I don't want to do that anymore. Can I read this, please? I really want to read this without you killing my ass. Do I die? You've been sitting through the fog for an entire day now, and it doesn't show any signs of dissipating. It's pretty disorienting. The fog is so thick... You can't tell if it's day or night. It sounds like the crew on the main deck are being affected by it pretty badly. The captain's... How would that even be possible? So th That would be like... <laughs> I don't even know how you can make fog that dense. Um, the captain's ordered that time on the main deck should be limited to necessary work only. I hope we're out of this soon. Okay. Excuse me. Now... Oh, he's there. No, that's a different one. That's fucked up. Can we hide here? We cannot hide. Oh, no, we can't hide here. That's bad. Hiding spots means that we're gonna have to hide. Alright, you stand there. Are you playing hide and seek? Um, big spider? There's some good sounds going on. Is that a dead end? How the fuck did you go this way if it's a dead end? Go us, go us, croak. Koash Koket, thank you for the 10. I'm assuming that's how it's supposed to be said. Thank you for the 10 gift subs. I love that all these monsters are just there to try and jump scare me. You can't get me. Oh, nice. Wait. Huh? Wait, did I break the game? Was that valve handle not supposed to be there? You know how I opened the door with a valve? Was I supposed to find that one later? <laughs> Why is it uh, shaking that much? Uh, I'm not sure, but anyway, we found another one. We'll probably need it further in. Spider? Yeah, there was some big spider. Oh, there was a... Uh, it's cow's forehead with a different <laughs> spelling. Yeah, I don't know where spider went. <coughs> Sorry. Hey, buddy, thank you for the two months as well. And unique, unique Siebel, thank you for the prime. Uh, hi. Alright, everyone's gone, no problem. I'll check this. Of course. <laughs> oh, this is why we need the valve. Because we couldn't just jump over that. Nope, that's impossible. What am I possibly gonna do? Okay, so I didn't break the game. Cargo hold. Um, someone got crushed by this bookshelf or whatever. Or by a bench. Who for these nuts? Thank you for the 38. I had the fan be on, though. Things are looking bad. We've been sailing through the fog for two days now with no end in sight. Early this morning, the navigation equipment stopped working, and now the engines have cut out. We're working as hard as we can to repair them, but we're dead in the water right now. We've sent out a distress signal. I don't think I'll be getting any sleep tonight. Okay, and the distress signal only arrived to us four years later. Is that another coin? Never mind, it's a security room door. Oh, Jesus! <gasps> Holy fuck. Ah! 
I was not- they, This is the first time I've seen them move in my face! Scared the shit out of me! <laughs> what the hell, man? They were all just standing still before! I told- I was just a moment ago, I said they wouldn't jump scare me. <laughs> what the fuck? He smacked me. Okay, seems like they're no longer useful. Oh, fuck off! I'm whisp whistling at you. You're not whistling back. Why are you not whistling back? You're supposed to be whistling back so I know where you are. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go through this again. Oh. Yeah. Is that your ad? So wait, there's only one that's evil? That is you, sir! Don't walk up to him. He's gonna smack me. Um, all right, keep your distance. Don't you fucking grab me. Elevator. Okay, can we? Oh, no, we still need the fuse for that. Wait a minute. Boiler? I mean, we could just walk. Is this, is this where we came from? Or not? I don't think so. No, this is another side, right? Security room? No, we can jump up this, I see. Uh, we came upon a fog bank today. There was no chance of sailing around it, so we've had to sail th straight through it. Something about it makes me uneasy. With everything else going on on board the ship, it feels this is where we already read this. Excuse me. Can I go? I, I don't want to be here. Get me out of here. I, sure I remember that note. Am I crazy or do I remember that note? But we can't jump this. I guess we do go here. Wait, huh? I swear I've already been here. Can I go back out? Okay, I can just go back in and out. Yeah, this is where we came from, I'm pretty sure. But then what's that? That is where we actually came from. Wait, so we... Oh, we started here. Huh? Oh, because we can't jump down. Okay, I am lost in the sauce, bro. Where the fuck is the security room? Oh, I remember. This was blocked. So then we came through here, we went up, and then we had to go through the vent to go around, and this was just a shortcut to get back to that same area. Okay, I understand now. Uh, car can I open this? The doors won't open while the other cargo hold is flooded. Okay, you are moving, sir. If I walk up to you, will you kill me? I'm gonna save the game and walk up to that guy, I'm curious. All right, never mind. He's gone. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? All right, I need to find the security room. Please chill. Oh, that is actually creepy. I love that they made these into enemies. Because that is like... I, I was really missing that they were actually like gonna kill you or attack you in any way. Um, this is why I also have the whole whistling system. Okay, dude. Yes, I know. It's you whistling. You dickhead. So it is this guy. So we need to figure out which of the ones is friendly and which of the ones is evil do we have a security room door anywhere <laughs> this is where we got the security room key right yeah there's nothing here i'm not sure do we go another way <clears throat> yeah they're terrifying that's some good horror there's a coin there where did you see the coin pop up? I want to get all the coins. We get the good ending. Coin here. Coin in this room. Oh, wait, what is this? Ah, uh, we need... Uh, there's a part missing from the water pump so we can pump out the water so we can go to the other cargo hold. I see. Understood, understood. Where is the coin? Oh, thank you for the 100 bitties. I don't know. Go back through the vent. That's so far back, though. Under the pipe. There's like seven million trillion pipes in this. That's a pipe. That's a pipe. That's a pipe. That's a big pipe. That's another pipe. That's a pipe. That's a pipe. That's a pipe. It doesn't help. <laughs> to say that it's under a pipe. <laughs> Which one specifically? <laughs> Pipes on this ship? No way, dude. B, 
big pipe. Alright, anyway, whatever. We'll not find them all. Yeah, we already read this lore, by the way, in case you're confused why I'm not picking it up. We already went through that. That was pointless. Okay, I'm a little lost in the sauce. You just need to find the security room. Which I assume, I guess, is backwards? Elevator. This is going to the boiler, though. This is like... Yeah, this is just all the way back. We definitely don't want to be there, right? Yeah, this is where we started. Check the spider vent again. Do we go back? Was there a locked door there? I don't remember that. I guess we'll check the vent again. I don't know. I'm a little lost. Unless it's up there. Wait, no, there were locked doors up here, right? One of this has got to be the the security room. Oh, there we go. Security. Okay, finally. Security room. And we have the key. Open it. Aha. It was up here. Hello, sir. Are you going to attack me? Shipping manifest. Hi. There's something weird in cargo hold too. As I was inspecting the machinery, I heard a strange rhythmic humming, humming, coming sound coming from the one of the containers. I tried to investigate, but the cargo inspector stopped me and said he'd look into it. I haven't heard the sound since. The cargo inspector doesn't say anything when questioned about it and pretends not to have any memory of that encounter. Are you moving? I'm not. I'm not gonna try. Because you're damn spooky. Can I get out of here, please? Can I close the door? Ha! Ah, I got locked in. Okay, so we have the shipping manifest, which this guy wants. I'm going to quickly drop a save. Because you never know what's... You are evil because you're moving. Anyone who's moving is evil. I'm actually curious, though. Like, let me see. We're going to do something insane because we just... We're saving right now. If you do this, do you actually just die? Oh, yes! <laughs> Fuck, man. Okay, we have to be- Wait, huh? It didn't kill me, though. Oh, it's just- No, ah, come on! <laughs> what the fuck? You're fine. Okay, I don't know what the- I don't know what the- <laughs> It's all good. Alright, so you're evil for sure. Wait, you're open now? What- the fuck? Fuse, thank you. It feels like I've been down here forever. Taking the fuse from the freight elevator has stopped anything from getting down here, but rations are running low. I'll need to get out of here soon. The passage between cargo holds one and two is flooded. I'll need to drain it before I can reach the elevator up to the superstructure, but the pump is broken. There should be replacement parts on one of the service desks. What are my chances of making it alone? Maybe I'll wait here just a bit longer. Alright, so we know we can go elevator mode. So they don't instantly kill you. We've learned that now. It's gotta be you again. Because you are peaceful. You're my you're my friend. This guy, I like this guy. Fuck you. You peas? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you. Alright, save. You <laughs> fuck that guy, dude. <laughs> what a dickhead. Play is Fuse. Yes, Fuse. We've done the horror game thing. Achievement unlocked. Place Fuse. Love the single button elevator. Where did the guy go? Going up. Found a way from the cargo hold achievement. Okay, I was about to say, that's going to be a long elevator ride. Thank you so much. It looks way nicer up here. Find a replacement part for the water pump. Yeah, we just need a pipe, that's all. Ooh, that's nice. They painted it, and we can save as well. Alright, we can't go in there. Yeah, we played the demo of this, but we are in completely new area territory now. The demo was only like the first uh, 20 minutes or something. Are you guys gonna slap me? feel a little unsafe going that way. Okay, well, this is just a dead end. Unless... Am 
We're gonna have to lock doors behind me and stuff. We've been trying to get the engines back up and running for a few days now, with no success. Some of the crew are starting to become despondent. Unfortunately, many of them have also taken up Dr. Hayes' infuriating hobby of building a, um, building random contraptions. Excuse me? Oh, Jesus. Oh, you're evil, you piece of shit. Um, are you? Yeah, for sure. He's whistling back at me, bro. But how do I get what's here then? Okay, I don't need that. Uh, I need that though. Fuck. Um. Fucking pick it up! Okay, thank you. <laughs> Safety storage room key. Ooh, okay, he doesn't kill me. What's this? Cargo hold door controls. Oh my god, a piece is missing. Okay, well, we're gonna have to do the annoying ass puzzle. Okay, what, what did it say? I was a little distracted. I got a key, right? I got a safety storage room key. Okay, fuck this, man. <laughs> that guy scares the shit out of me. Yeah, your whistle, if you whistle too close to them, they won't whistle back. You have to be far enough away. Uh, cargo safety storage room key. Alright, I guess we're going this way. Can you guys go away? Okay, this can't even open. I don't like this. They're gonna touch my... Excuse me? I guess I follow you. Was that like a maze? Was there like an endless maze unless you did it? Are you moving? Let's see. Let's see. Let's whistle over here. It's definitely that guy. Storage. You unlocked it? Okay, let's go. Do we have a save point? Are you gonna move? Okay, close the door. Wiring Ooh. tile. We gotta do the puzzle. We received radio signal from a rescue team today. We've tried we tried to respond and let them know our situation, but we were unable to transmit. There was no sign of the helicopter through the fog. After a while we heard the rescue. Rescue team <clears throat> say they couldn't see any sign of the ship and would begin searching a different area. Strangely, they said they had a clear view all the way to the horizon. The radio has been quiet ever since. I feel sick. Our only hope now is to get the engines working. Okay, so they were in a fog that was like a separate dimension. Um, can I open all of these? Is there going to be something in one of these? It's got to be one of those coins, maybe. We probably already missed one of those coins. What? Um, there's no point. Nothing was in there. All right, then. Anyway, I closed this, right? He's gone! I mean, it's kind of good. I have to go all the way back. Fuck. Don't smack me. Did you guys do this thing in elementary school? Like, every time someone, like, uh, a group would have their last day of school... We would do like the, the, the wall, the, what do you call it? Like where there's just two people against each other, like a bow. And then there would be those assholes that would like fucking smash down when you went through. <laughs> like you would make an archway, the dead, the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> shit was actually like some cult shit. <laughs> what the hell? The is that is that just the Dutch thing? Oh god, I'm gonna get lost. <laughs> the death tunnel. I don't know why there was smacking involved. Was that really necessary? Okay, you go back here where the spooky guy was, right? Spooky guy. 
You call it the Polish hallway in Brazil? Are you still here? You are still here, but you're friendly, right? We're friends? Okay, now we need to do this damn puzzle. All right, let's see. Can I move them anywhere or do they have to? I heard footsteps behind me. Okay, I just rotate them, I see. It needs to go all the way down here. Let's do it from both sides. Okay, that's the easiest puzzle of my life. What the fuck? Never mind then. You didn't even move. What did I do with that? Elevator controls, right? So now we can go to the elevator. That was the actual speed run. Did it in like 15 seconds. That was there before, right? Uh, yes. Uh, excuse me! Help! Help! What do I do? Oh god. Um, I'm dead. I'm dead. It's over. Goodbye. Hi. What the fuck? Please, sir. I'm gonna die. Help me. Oh, never mind. I'm just... I just had a little hallucination. Alrighty then. That was pretty sick. <laughs> yeah, friend, please help me. <laughs> Open the door. Alright, elevator. I really appreciate these clear signs on the floor. Uh, so we go back to... What did we get? Wait. Huh? Didn't we get something? Excuse me. I swear we got a key. Am I insane or did we get a key? Where did it go? Or did it just... Do we go back? We can't even go back. Okay, I'm confused. It was a cargo... We have to go back to cargo hold? I used it to open those doors, really? Okay, um, this one does let the nowhere. Yeah, we need a pipe, I know, but like... What did we do the puzzle for, if not for getting something done? Maybe this? Cargo hold? Ah, uh, we can open this door now? I see. That's a big fan. Oh, that. You can jump down from there. Later. They should have really stacked this better. How the fuck did they move that like that? Uh, could I fall down here? Oh my god, I actually might. <laughs> I'm not gonna try. <laughs> uh, oh god. Shoe piece. No, my flashlight. Don't do that to me. That's a rare horror bingo. Losing your flashlight halfway through? That doesn't happen very often. Oh, come on. Oh, pipe? Seal a pipe from one of these? Yes. The part is bolted on. Kick it! I was woken up early this morning by a loud scraping sound against the side of the ship. I thought we might have hit something in the fog, but when I ran to the main deck, there was nothing. There have been other sounds heard intermittently throughout the day. Banging on the hull, the sound of scraping metal, a low rumbling from beneath the ship. Each sound was investigated, but we found nothing. Can I open this without you killing my ass? It's locked from the other side! Let's go! What did I say? <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> I called that one before it happened. I mean, it's a classic, of course. All right, we need to uh, get something. I don't have a flashlight. Yeah, I, f I know that. I, I hate it. Oh, Jesus. Did you move your arms? I swear you moved your arms. Maybe not. Oh, that sounds like it's coming from that guy. Is the part? Yeah, I know, but it's bolted on. Didn't you read? Or didn't you hear me say it? You can go there. You can go through. Can we open this, or is it gonna start? It's locked. The hatch is rusted shut. Shut. Okay, you are also moving, sir. Go, go, go. This game got an amazing atmosphere. I gotta give it to them. Very well done. 
Uh, my father has been missing for over a year now, but today I received a mysterious package from someone who claims to have known him. Inside the package was a strange artifact like nothing I've seen before. Apparently, during one of his expeditions, my father had found three such relics. Two of them he was carrying with him when he disappeared, and this one he sent to me. Holding the relic in my hand, I know that it had something to do with his disappearance. Perhaps I can use it to find him. Okay. Save time. It's locked. Of course it is. Uh, we need to move this. Can't do anything. I need another gear. I'm missing a gear. Red means scary. Hi. I hate these guys now. I mean, I kind of didn't like them before, but now I hate them even more. Okay. Get... All right, we got a wrench. We can get the part now. Here, boys. There was a dude here around the corner before. He's probably going to be gone now, or he's going to be way too close. Of course he's gone. There was a dude sitting right there. Oh, he's there now. Hello. What even is this in the middle? Ah! What the fuck? Okay, uh, there was probably another guy standing there. I didn't see him. Holy shit, I got distracted. <laughs> oh, it's a big fan. What is this big fan even doing? Goodness gracious. Uh, I need to go here, right? And this way, yeah, give me the thing. You are moving the other side, or looking the other side. Air circulation? That's a big ass fan for that. Okay. That's a nice sound. That's a nice door fart right there. Another flashlight? Hog! Alright, we're gonna grab that, or we're gonna... We're gonna put that on... Why is this locked, huh? Are you moving? That was over here, right? Is he behind me? Fuck, man. I hate that. <laughs> I just constantly feel like they're gonna be behind me. Uh, you are the evil one. Because you're not supposed to be there. It's like observation duty. Find the odd one out. It was definitely moving. You have a health bar. Yeah, if they hit you two times or three times, she will die. I don't exactly know. I just don't want to be hit by them. I know that. Alright, it was over here. Yes, okay. Use gear. So now... What do we do? Move? Oh, it's one of these games. Wait, can we just move them anywhere? Okay, then. Well, do they have number? Whoops, no. What the fuck? I didn't... Huh? Oh, I have a... Why did it move? Oh, you have six moves. Why did it move like that? I didn't mean to move that one. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Why are you selecting this one? What the... Huh? It's... There's like a weird rule set to it. So I, I select this one. Okay, no, but I can move everywhere now. Huh? I don't understand. Move this one there. It's like forcing me to select some, unless I'm really stupid, which might be true. That one. That one. There. So now, no, this, this doesn't work. This is too many moves. I fucked it up. Okay, I need to move. Wait, wait, wait. Seven moves, so you can only do one side move. So this one needs to go up now. This one needs to go there now. Check. White one needs to go up. Okay, I'm just don't click spacebar if you don't have to. Uh, yeah, see, I can't move. Okay, I can't move the black one now because I'm too far away from it. Okay, so that's such a strange. Okay, that's really weird explained. So I need to move. Can I, if I move... This one, I still can't move the black one. Because when I move this, this is what I tried before. This, this, then I can't move all the way to the black one. Okay, so reset. We got this. Yeah, you can move the white one first, but how does that help you exactly? So we just need to make sure that the black one is in, in place. So we need to do this. Move this one, then move this one. No, but we, we need to fill this space. 
Wait, this is actually kind of complicated. Because we can't do another side move. So if we move this one now, we can't. Because then we're going to have to do a side move because we can't shuffle them. So this is bad. So we need to move... I mean, moving the white one just puts the same situation on the other side. Like, it, it genuinely doesn't matter if you move this one or this one because it's all the same situation. Maybe we can move this one over there because we can do one side move. If we move this one over here, that's a different move. Then we move this one down. Move that one. No, we don't move that one down. Can I unselect? I think I should move it. Can I move a different one? Wait, let's see. Move this one. Well, we can't all the way- wait. Why can't I select every single one of them now? Before, I couldn't do that. That's so strange. Okay, I'm, I'm a little confused. I'm guessing I move... This one- it's just like the rules are so unexplained. I move this one now, there. Then I move... This one up. This- I think I'm gonna get stuck here. Because I'm not going to be able to move the black one anymore when I'm here. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay, sorry. We got this. It's so weirdly constraining. Okay, so that move seems good to me. Now we can move every single one. So what if we move this one? Oh, we can't move it there. Okay, makes sense. It has to be adjacent. Okay. Why move there? Uh, This black move... Seems kind of stupid. This move, does it get you stuck? If you move this one, you have to move this white one then. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck. And then you can never get back there. So that one... But if I move this middle black one, doesn't the white one just get stuck always? Let's see. So then we do that. Then I do this. Then I do this one. But then how does the white... The white one is going to get stuck now. Wait, now we can move everywhere. What? What? Why do we sometimes get to move anywhere and, so, and otherwise... No, now we're stuck again. Okay, this one is a good move. This is, like, for sure the move we need to do because it's, like, out of the box. Uh, it's, like, thinking out of the box. Uh, and then this one can't go there. We can move... So now we need to move one of these two. It's not the middle one? Middle white up. So we move this one, then we move... If we move... We can't move this one to here. It needs to have... To move a gear, it needs to have an adjacent empty space. I mean, they all do. Middle... We can move the middle black one to there. I wish you could unselect as well. So now we have to pick. Now we move the white one up and then the black one down. But how do we ever get this one? How do we ever get the white one out? If we move the right white, that's literally what we did before though, no? Isn't that exactly what we did before? Then we move this one down. It's like the only move here. Then we move the white one up. Because that's the only move here. And now we can select... Oh, because... Okay, the adjacent space here allows you... So, okay, I was thinking the rules completely different. I thought that if you move a gear to one spot, you can only touch, like, this one, this one, and this one. But that's not how it works. As long as there's an adjacent empty spot, you can move them, which is exactly what someone said, but I just, for some reason, didn't click. But yeah, there you go. All right, so you just need to make sure the open spots are next to the ones you want to move. That, for some reason, just did not work in my brain. All right, nice, we got it. Save. I wish you could have infinite save points, but I don't. And then, what's in here? I don't have a flashlight. I wish I could get one. Why are you so spooky, sir? Are you moving? You're not moving. A key. Oh my god. Sir. Paint. What did it say? Paint locker key? I got a little distracted. Where did he come from? Where did he go? We got a paint locker key and we have to replace some part. I wonder if we even had to do that in the first place. This might have just been a side quest, which I don't mind that. Okay, so paint locker? I don't remember seeing a paint locker but i'm assuming that's somewhere else is this opening no. all right i think we go back now hey throw a little bit up uh and then we unless it's this oh no this opened from the other wait never mind i did unlock it okay 
Paint. More paint. Even more paint. Rust remover. Okay. I'm guessing we're gonna need that somewhere. Oh, for the hatch, of course! Haha! <laughs> for the rusted hatch from a while ago. Don't attack me. This one, right here. Yeah, it's right next to it. Okay. Nice. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. I guess we can't take the elevator back. Down the hatch we go to the more spooky zone. I really want a flashlight. Just pick up this light. It seems to be like it's not attached to anything. Why don't you just pick up this light here? Stupid protagonist. The elevator only had an up button? That doesn't make any sense. Wouldn't the button just go to the opposite direction? Like, if it's down, it goes up. If it's up, it goes down. That seems like a very stupid elevator. <laughs> nice decorations. Uh, we can climb up there, but I kind of want to check what's over here first. Alright, there's nothing over there. Thank you very much. This is... Cool. Why is the what the hell? There's such a delay on my screenshot. I pressed that, and like two seconds later, it took the screenshot. <laughs> okay. Hi. It's you again. Some of the crew have begun experiencing chest pains and have sent have been sent to the sick bay. We're not quite sure. Uh. What's causing it? But we have an extensive medical facility aboard, so we should be able to treat them. I'd feel better if we could get them to a proper hospital. Is that these guys? They have chest pain? Because they're holding themselves like that? I don't know. I don't know if they... Sir. I didn't... I, I was just... I was empathizing with you, and then you end up being a dickhead? Evil. a different one okay there was a no this is the only way right i i don't want to go there am i gonna find my flashlight again oh god there's so many dead ends chest pain was gone aspirin kicked in all right you're also evil it's like damn they, they don't exactly act like co so if i stand here for a long enough time will they kill me you guys want to do something terrifying? <laughs> I think it's definitely gonna kill me. <laughs> I didn't save in a while, so I should be careful. It's red light, green light. Yeah, I know. Oh, we can open that. I mean, it's definitely moving, of course. It's a very slow 173, yeah. Uh oh. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's where you grab the sidebars when you feel it fall apart like that. I really wish I had a flashlight. It dropped down here, right? Uh, cargo hold engineering. Another note? I found a cargo ship that should be taking a similar route that my father took on his final voyage. I was able to pay off the captain to take me on board, no questions asked. We're leaving tomorrow morning. I'm too anxious to sleep. But with the artifact securely stowed, there's nothing to do but wait and see what happens. Okay. So... The guy that was, like, the stowaway was that... Was the was the son of the archaeologist guy? I'm just checking this. It's probably... No, it doesn't lead anywhere. I just wanted to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Yeah, this guy be hitting the floor real hard a lot of the time and being totally fine. You're gonna attack me? You're not really moving, so I think you're cool. You're a cool guy, right? Oh, this is where we can jump down. We, I guess we'd want to do that. Yep, I guess we want to do that. I remember this. And this is my flashlight? Nope, that's not my flashlight. 
whatever. I think we're gonna have to find a new one or just not have any for the whole game. Uh, engineer. <laughs> Did you see that guy? That was some dude in the window. Peekaboo. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck that, dude. I got the pump thing, right? Where am I even going? I was kind of scared running around. This is definitely not the way to go. We have to go back to the car. Wait. Shouldn't we go to cargo hold? Elevator. No, elevator. If we can go to the elevator, we can get back into the main area where the we need to use the pipe, right? I'm just gonna save. I wanna save. We know we need to use the pipe now. Um, we just need to find the pump again. We, I can use the elevator again? I can keep going in circles? I don't think that's... Wait, no, we do want to go down. See, the elevator does work, right? Because this will lead us back to the... Is that true? No, I don't think that's true. Do we want to... Where was this thing? Yeah, we do want to go back down, right? I'm just a little confused where the water pump was. Yeah, so it is just an elevator that can go up and down. Of course. I don't know why <laughs> you guys are... <laughs> Okay, there we go. So we're done with this area now. Nice. The mechanic acquired the replacement part for the water pump. Let's go. Oh, my elevator is broken. Um. Help. Oh, it's getting darker and darker. First they take away the flashlight, then they take away all the light. Turn power to the freight elevator. Please note that flares here are for, mer for emergencies only and should not be used indoors. Whoops. Igniting flares inside the ship could cause suffocation or start a fire. Well, the damn generator went off again this morning. Last time it happened, we were stuck down here for a few hours waiting for the replacement parts to be brought up from storage. Additional spare part spares have been left in a storage room up here now in case it happens again. That's cool. I like that. Okay. We need to find a storage thing. That is very spooky. That is a... I need to find a replacement part. Yes. How did that get removed? Who took it? One of the spooky boys? I managed to escape down to the service desk with a few others who are not in fact disabled the freight elevator so we won't be followed. It's not much, but it's enough to let us catch our breath at least. We were able to scrounge together a good pile of canned foods from the galley before we left. But we have no idea how long we're going to be stuck down here. Hopefully we'll be able to wait it out. They begin. Did we just find another safe station right before this? That means it's gonna be dangerous. Oh, I, I like that these stay. Hi. Boiler. I need a four digit code. It's locked from the other side, classic. Can't open this shit, man. I'm running out of flares. Is there something here? No. Oh, there is something there. I would have missed that. If this sickness is airborne, we should probably turn off the large fan in the ventilation room to stop it circulating throughout the ship. We tried to get into the control room, but the door is locked. Gresham was holding on to the key, but he went to investigate the boiler room and has yet to return. I don't have many more flares. What's the game about? About a ship that disappeared, and then four years later, it suddenly reappears, and now we're just, or we're figuring out what happened to it. It's locked, god damn it. Can we go through the fan? That seems dangerous. Yeah, and somebody's father got missing, went missing even further back. 
we're, we're pretty synced together this story. I cannot go through this, right? I would just get chopped in pieces. I need to grab more flares as well. Why is there a ladder here if it doesn't lead to anywhere? Excuse me? I, oh, what the fuck? Spider-Man was there. I don't think I got anything. But yeah, I'm, I'm refilling flares. That's why I'm running back here. Here we go. We got more flares now. You die by Sons of the Force. I mean, I really enjoyed the game. If you enjoyed watching it and you think you might enjoy playing it, you can do that. Uh, what the fuck? Where am I supposed to go? Is there a code? Or oh, wait. What? Was this open before? I don't remember this, but okay. I guess we're going here. New place. Toilets. There's a hole in the toilets. Drain water from the lower floor. I can't jump in there. It's an invisible wall. I don't think we're alone down here. I can hear skittering in the walls. I tried to tell myself it was all in my head, but now Gresham has gone missing. For safety, I think we should we need to hole up in one of the rooms. A box of flares is all we have to keep whatever is down here at bay. Okay, wait, so we use the the flares against the monster? Wait a minute, that could be so cool. Oh, Jesus. Well, guess I'm not going. Never mind, I can go here. I appreciate that. Stay out of the boiler room. There's something in the boiler room. Luke cornered me today, adamant that he saw something in there. At first, I thought one of the statues must have made it up somehow. But as I approached the open door, I could hear whatever but it was against the far wall. Just beyond the light's reach. I got out of there as quickly as I could and locked the door behind me. We should stay out of that room unless we have no other choice. But in case of emergency, the combination is 3792. 3792. Okay. 3792. That's... I don't know if I want to be in there. I can't wait for my cruise next week. Never been on a cruise. I've been on a ship. That When I went to Norway, I went on a... Like a huge cruise ship, but it was only for like two days. Uh, I don't know. It wasn't necessarily a cruise ship. And when I went to um, uh, London as well, I went on a boat. But the only thing I remember from the boat was like this really weird casino that no one was allowed to use because it was a fucking high school trip. <laughs> so like no one was like old enough to be allowed to gamble. So it was just there for no reason. Um, and the other, only other thing I remember, that thing, plus there was, they sold these giant Toblerones, you know, like the, ch the chocolate. These like absolutely like, I don't know, meter long, like this big fucking chocolate bars. And it blew, I was like, why the, f that is so much, it's like two kilos of chocolate. It's so much chocolate. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, what was the code? I got it. Three, seven. Three, seven. Uh, nine, two. Nice. Average American chocolate bar. You said it, not me. Hi. Uh, he's gonna move. Oh boy. No, my key! My key, dude. Is there any. We haven't found any of those coins in a while now, but there's probably gonna be more. Too little chocolate. And I remember one of my friends bought it, and it was like actually too much chocolate for one person ever. It was so much. It was also insanely expensive. I don't remember the price, but it was very overpriced. Ventilation control room key. Oh, that's a hand. Okay, that, someone got eaten immediately? Yeah, that's all that's left of that guy, huh? Alrighty then. Ventilation. Oh, we need to turn off the ventilation shaft so we can go through the vents? 
I see. I thought I was gonna get jump scared. There's no such thing as too much chocolate. There most definitely can be. You've, you might have never had too much chocolate, but there definitely, you would die. Um, where did we go? This one? It's locked from the other side, classic. Uh, elevator, don't want to be there. I don't remember where... Was it up here? Oh yeah, this room, this room, for sure. Right, and then we can turn that off so we can go behind it, maybe? Yes. Aha! He turns it off. Anything here? Don't have many more flares. How many do I- Oh, six. That's fine. I'm not gonna go all the way back for six flares. And I remember feel- I mean, I didn't- I don't really get ship sick, necessarily. Seasick. Um... But I can't go past there? I should- I feel like I should be able to- Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, what? But I remember laying in bed after we did the trip and just feeling like the earth moving beneath you and you were like, what the fuck? Excuse me. Did you get yourself stuck, sir? I don't think I'm making it out of this alive. And I'm the only one left. The skittering is louder now. All I can do is sit here. And watch as the last flare burns out. Alright then. And then he got left behind. Water pump controls. You turn it on. Beep 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 beep. Tunnel E. Okay, so there's still one flooded section. But now we can jump down in the toilet. To get to the lower section, I'm assuming. Was that the spider? Yeah, that was the spider again. They did a great job with the puzzle improvements. I remember, I don't know exactly how the puzzles were, but I remember it was, I guess it could still be like that, where if you miss one thing, that's so cool. You're gonna be stuck, because like one note that contains the code, if you don't find that, you're fucked. But I remember it was quite easy to miss something, and I got stuck like several times in a row. Uh, what the fuck? I want to get more flares real quick before we go to the toilet. Yeah, there's like a big spider. We haven't really seen it yet. Oh, whoops. What if we... Is this infinite? What if we do this? Light mode. Oh, it, it's, it's actually clever. It turns off the too many flares. You see that? It was like, it, it was prepared for my bullshit. <laughs> it, it turned the rest off. When there's too many flares in one area, it'll just keep only one of them on. That's so smart. All right, so we don't have the replacement part yet. But we can go down here now. That's actually clever. And I would expect the way they would do that is like, if you throw... Like, you can have 10 flares at once. If you throw flare 11, the first flare turns off, etc., etc. But they actually, like, group them together. That's so clever. Where, like, there's too many flares there. Oh, I'm impressed. That's the little things. You, you gotta... That doesn't necessarily, like... That's not the most obvious thing. Okay, so we need to... Toilet's over here, right? Poopy time? Wait, no, this is not the toilet. Where the fuck is the toilet? Is the toilet through the vent again? I don't want to go through the vent again. Toilet. <clears throat> is it here? No, this is that again. It, it must be in the vent. Gotta be through here. Otherwise, I don't know where the fuck I could be. There it is, toilets. Oh my god! It is just a huge spider! What the fuck? Okay. Why am I following it exactly? I don't know. Oh, uh, it's like coming from someone's head. What? There's like spider legs or it was, or it was just dragging the body? 
But it seemed like it was it's like spider legs coming out of someone's brain. What the fuck? I really like how they made light more spooky ever like since they took away the flashlight. That's so smart. Ah, more flares here. I appreciate it. So this is still What? Yeah, that sound. That's so cool. <laughs> I love the little details, man. Like literally Literally 99 out of 100 horror games would not have bothered with that sound right there. I, I can I can respect the little details. And I've played more than 99 horror games. Okay, I unlocked this. This is just a shortcut. All right, I appreciate it. Is that blood across the wall? Probably. Wait, no, that looks like rust there against that wall. Can I check this out? No, nope. lock from the other side. Can I jump in the water? Oh, I can. Do I want to? Yes. Save the game. Too late. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Spiders hate water? I hope so. <clears throat> Alright, we're fine. I'm still wet. Workshop key, nice. Uh, there's nothing there. Don't attack me, spider. I come in peace. I can't go back there. Right, did we go all the way back through now? But we can't jump up there, right? Wait, is it the only way to go is back into the water? No, the door here. Yeah, okay. This door doesn't open from this side. Okay, so that was good, actually. Oh, but now, now we're back here, I see. All right, that was just a little water section. I wish there was a save point here. I mean, I guess I could climb up and save there. What is the chance of us dying right now? Probably zero, right? That's how that works. Oh, this is where we jump down. Sounds like it's gonna explode any second right now. Workshop. We got the workshop key. I love how bright the flares are too. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> I love how this game is like genuinely super creative. It's like showing that the the tropes of horror gaming don't have to be like necessarily or they don't make a game necessarily bad. Because this is a great game, but it's literally fucking bingoing on all axes in the horror game bingo right now. <laughs> like what the fuck dude? But it's still really good. <laughs> So it's not necessarily like a, an immediate pinpoint like oh this game is doing all the cliches must be bad uh so i have bolt cutters now what do i do with the bolt cutters i don't remember anything to cut but i guess we climb back up what do we cut with that i don't remember to get the part off but we already did that no oh wait a minute of course you see this this is the water level before I drained it because we just drained the water. That's why everything's so wet and there's like this rust line because we drained the water. Of course, makes I mean, obviously, but I don't know for some reason that didn't uh, click with me. The ladder in the workshop. I don't know. There must be something with the bolt cutters that we need to do. I'm going to save real quick, though. Oh, we need to cut the storage room door. Here we go. Okay, but, and that also means we can stop by the safe point right here. Okay, we figured it out. And then in the storage, there was a replacement part. That's Wait, there's no safe point here. 
Wait, there's no save point at all. I guess we can't die here. I hope we can't. And then the replacement part is gonna allow us to turn the generator back on. Or is it gonna be, this will be double bingo if it's a one-time use crowbar or a bolt cutter. Oh my God, it is. That's double bingo right there. <laughs> they always do that, dude. <laughs> like, why would you fucking drop it, you dumbass? That's the rare double bingo. Oil. Uh, wait, what? Oil is- I needed a part, right? I didn't need oil. Excuse me? Is that all I needed? Am I just gonna use that here? Oh, no, no, I need to use- I need to get a replacement part. What? Uh, explore the lower floor. Okay, we need to explore the lower floor a little more, I guess. There's the save. Wait, is there a save in this room? <clears throat> I don't see it. Save in this... where? In this room? Oh, yeah, here. Okay, nice. Save point. We've saved. Check. Now we don't lose all our progress. The, the reflections are so strange. You see that? <laughs> they don't reflect. They're like in the same orientation. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's so weird. <clears throat> Who's the guy at the window? Don't worry about him. This is the full release. Yes. Okay, so there's got to be something down here that tells me to explore this more. So we jump down. Hmm, there's got to be something here, right? Maybe we can break this, because this is making a weird sound. No. random ladder again we were going all the way back to where we came from but i don't know where else to go because it's still telling me to explore the lower floor which this is the only way we haven't explored well we have explored here but the other way was just the water unless there was another way in the water oh wait can we open this ah i see okay i didn't <laughs> i didn't do that before storage I still can't go in here. Oh! <laughs> you know what happened there? We should have found this before. And then it was like, it's too rusty. I need some oil. And then we find the oil. And then we do this. But we already had the oil. <laughs> so, okay. Anyway. I, I get it. I get it. And now we get the replacement part. There it is. I'm gonna have to put that in. It's gonna be a mini game. Uh oh. I'm glad we saved. Did you smack the door closed? No, you didn't. Hello, Spider Man. Are you gonna fight me? I will burn you with this flare. There are actually flares that can, like, burn underwater, no? That's kind of wild. Fire underwater. That's like pretty common for flares. Oh, I get maybe not for road flares. We have to go just generator now. That's it. And we can save again. It's not fire. It's like, what is it then? Like special, it's just a chemical reaction probably. It's magnesium fire. I see. All right, save. Boom. And put it in. And then we're gonna have to run from the spider. I still don't know how that got, how that like got removed, but I won't ask any questions. Oh, my flares burned. Ah! 
Oh my god, it's exactly what we thought. That is fucking terrifying. It's gonna shit out of me, man. I should have ran. <laughs> Okay, and that's oh, it even put dude. This game is insane. This game is made by such a good like Can can we just like I'm pointing this out every time they do something clever because Fucking every game designer needs to learn from this dev right here like that having a checkpoint right there Even though there's a save point in that room You could have easily been like well if you didn't save and you just lost an hour of progress skill issue Because there's a save point in this room, but sometimes someone just fucking doesn't save and then having a checkpoint, what does it do? It literally, all it does is prevent me from being fucking annoyed for the next hour replaying. I mean, obviously I saved, but there could be people out there that wouldn't have saved and they would have just been annoyed for the next hour replaying the same fucking section, which wouldn't have added anything, would have just made people frustrated and like it would have just ruined the immersion. So it's really good to like make sure that stuff like that is, is properly done because it really helps the, the gameplay experience. I know that's obvious. If you point it out, but it's so often missed. Okay, I don't. What am I doing? I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Woo! Okay. That's so fucking creepy, man. I did it. A close call survived the service desk. Nice. <laughs> Because I play so many indie horror games and so often they are very frustrating because of like missed opportunities to smoothen the experience. Uh, what are we doing? Fix the water pump! Of course, we got the replacement part now, which if I remember was through here. Hey, there's more now. Excuse me. Save the game. Because <laughs> they're definitely going to beat my ass. Stay away! Oh, it's definitely that one. I could even hear his footsteps. No whistling, huh? Yep, there you go. <laughs> uh, engineering. This is it, right? <clears throat> uh, am I crazy? Do we still have flares? Oh, they took my flares away! What the hell? Okay, here we go. That's what we need to do. Enter cargo hold to Nice water water's gone. Oh, yeah, there was that door that we couldn't open because there was water on the other side Are we gonna get jump scared along the way though? Yeah, they took my flares away. I really enjoyed the flares. That was fun They're doing a lot of variety as well like they're it's Like it's only uh, we're only two hours in and it's probably gonna be like a three-hour game total uh, but they're constantly changing up like the environment and the the way you, like at the start you had no flashlight Then you had a flashlight then you have no flashlight then you have flares now. I have no flashlight again like constantly changing uh, Stop was it, it was one of these doors, right? No There we go Should have probably saved before doing that find the elevator up to the superstructure Hopefully we'll find a flashlight again though because it's kind of fucking terrifying in the dark It's your ass. <laughs> I see you moved. You sneaky boy. Yeah, we're going pretty fast. Like, it's a very smooth experience. There's very little getting stuck. Uh, puzzles, but like simple puzzles. Except that one cog puzzle, but that was mostly just me being a dumbass. Big lever. I can't. All right. Is this gonna say too dark? Yeah, it's too dark. Okay, so that means we're getting another flashlight. Also a save point, I appreciate it. I'm gonna save just there, whatever. That's a fancy elevator. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was so unexpected, bro. What the fuck? The drive chain is missing. Okay. Dri we need to find a drive chain. Was there anything down there? She got randomly pushed. There was only one light source there, which makes me think we're probably... You can't go that way. Okay, drive chain. We go here. 
Uh, I can't open the hatch. I can't really. Oh, Jesus. Fuck you. <laughs> Get away from me. Do we? Let's check this one more set, one more time. I have played Bioshock, yeah. This makes me feel like a giant right now. Like, does this perspective look so strange? Okay. Well, I can't do anything there. <laughs> yeah, no Steam leak jump scare yet. That'll definitely be necessary. I guess we go back through this. I don't know. That's the only way to go. We go this way. Ah, this is open now. I see. Okay. Don't you touch me. The light is missing a bulb. Okay, then. There's one. One of the statues. I guess I'm going in the water. All right, probably don't want to open that anyway. The handle is missing, but don't think that's a good idea. It's gonna be spider monster again. Don't touch me. Okay. Light bulb, I mean, that's definitely what you could call that, I guess. Okay, you're in the way, sir. We've made it down into the cargo area. We were told to stay in the superstructure, but no one goes up there anymore with what's happening. With what's happened to the medical deck. It should be safe down here. But to make sure nothing can follow us. We've removed a drive chain for the elevator. Stop doing that. Because I have to fix everything, bro. Oh, you're gone. That was like to, to, to make sure you read that lore. Before the statue disappears. Okay, so what did we get? We got a light bulb. So we go into that. Um... That's very concerning. There's a guy standing at the corner as well. Creepy peeking guy. Nice. Do we still have the screwdriver? No, we don't have anything. But can we can open this? Okay. <clears throat> Previously, we needed a screwdriver for this, but I guess this one wasn't screwed shut. Reflections too. Hi. More and more crew members are finding themselves on the medical deck. More patients are experiencing chest pains and worsening symptoms. Could it be contagious? The crew are growing increasingly anxious. The best thing we can do is keep them quarantined on the medical deck. Between this fog, the engines going down. Being missed by that rescue team, and now the sickness. It's becoming difficult to keep everyone calm. Why can we open all of these when there's nothing in- Hi! What's the whistling? You can hear wi- So, <clears throat> excuse me. Some of these are monsters, others not. So this guy's chill, that guy's a monster. If you're far enough away from him, you can whistle, and he'll whistle back. So you know where you have to be careful. So I don't want to touch this guy, but I want to get past him. Do I die? Ooh, just not. Just fine. Spider-Man? No, it's just wires. Okay, it's fine. What? I heard very creepy sounds. Is that you? The fuck is that, bro? Is that the artifact? Just dull. Hi, sir. Think you can hide from me? Are you the Spider Man? Alright, we have the valve now. The other guy's gone. We need to go back, right? 
open the thing that was rattling before. It doesn't seem too good of an idea, but I guess we don't really have a choice. Uh, that was not this way. It was this way. Also showing that... Yeah, it was in the water. Also showing that linear games can be totally fine and enjoyable. I mean, that's not necessarily surprising. Also, hi there! Does he move? Handle, not valve. I mean, oh, whoops. I broke it. I'm too strong. Oh, I broke it halfway. Do I drown? Probably. Ah, uh, flashlight again. Let's go. <laughs> flashlight time. I've missed you, old friend. Don't jump scare me. That's much better. There was one area where it said it was too dark, right? I don't remember exactly where that was, but I think that was out of the water. Don't you come at me. Yeah, welcome back, flashlight. It's a different one, though. Definitely cool, though, because it was dark, but not too dark, so it was actually spooky. Was that? Yeah, the flares were amazing, too, but, like, having flares constantly would be a little annoying. I think that was back here. Did it just turn on? Haru Oreo. Thank you for the prime. Wasn't that this way? I think so. <laughs> yeah, this place. Right here. Uh, we can also save. Save the game. I see people. Usually it's always super annoying when you have like uh it's too dark to go this way. I love that now we can go this way even if we turn off the flashlight. <laughs> it's locked. So you're gonna be moving. Go. If only we had a bolt cutter or any other way we could just jump over it, you idiot. It appears that those who first started showing symptoms had spent more time on the main deck. Could it be the exposure to the fog that's causing the strange sickness? So far, none of the crew have who have been confined to the lower decks have gotten sick. I've been outside a few times, but thankfully my duties keep me mostly indoors. As a precaution, the captain has ordered that the crew are not to be go above deck for any reason until further notice. Article Icebox, thank you for converting your sub. Sometimes the audio files that are used are a little too short. Like that one cut out a little too fast, so it felt very artificial. Those are minor, minor mistakes, though. You see that again? The sex is so fun. The fuck? Can I open this? It's locked. There. You need to like let it fade out. And if it's like, if the sound effect itself is just cut too closely, you can make it like, so give it some reverb to make it feel like a crossfade. Make it fade out. Uh, this looks the exact same. It's also locked. Wait, am I going in circles? I mean, I guess I am, but I am getting somewhere. Um. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's fucking... It's just trial and error, bro? Which is the... Okay, that one. So then... Oh, whoops. Wait, that means this? This, this, this. Fuck. Oh my god, this is so complicated. I think, okay, this, that, no, fuck, this, I'm so stupid. This, then this one, and then this, fuck. I hate it here. Then this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, 
This one. This. Which one? <laughs> this is the top top one or the bottom one? I don't know. Down? Yeah, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Got him. Hi there. Uh, what have I just done? I turned on something. The oh, that's open now because the green light. Again, very clever because I checked this door before. And then I didn't know. And then it said locked. But then changing the light from red to green makes me know it's open now. Instead of me just having to randomly stumble upon the same door again and realizing that it's open now. I'm assuming I can't walk on that while it's rotating, even though I should totally be able to. I mean, maybe I can. Let's try. Looks a little dangerous, though. Nope, I can't. Um, I guess this is not... The, I guess both the doors open? Um, so we need to go down and go through the other one? That's up. Oh my god, what the fuck? Excuse me. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Are you chill, brother? Change storage. They have specific strange storage. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way a little. I got punished by jump scare. Is this down? I need to go down. Hey, this. What? Why do they all lead up? Oh wait, this is just the same stair. Wasn't there a, am I stupid or wasn't there another deck with another door? Was that all the same door? I thought there was another deck with another door. I guess it is just this door. I swear there were two doors, but I guess I just got confused by going up and down. It is the same door? Okay. What is in here then? Can we open that one? Oh, there's something there. Oh, we can sneak our way past here, I see. Oh boy. I mean, this doesn't look too dangerous. It's not like spiky. Alright, we're fine. We could have easily jumped that, but whatever. Um, that is an exploded body. Yummy. Is, are we playing Sons of the Forest over here? What the hell? We're gonna make an effigy? This, this looks like a boss arena. <laughs> Kind of. Okay, can't go that way. No ladder? There's a ladder right there. Can I actually use that one? I cannot use- Oh god, no, 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 no. Chill. Uh, what am I supposed to do? This door doesn't let me interact with it at all. Can I open this thing? Stop moving! Can't open that thing either. Wait, is there no point to this room? This is like the only way. Maybe one of the body parts. Oh, what's this? Haha. What is that? It's a video recorder. It is Outlast. <laughs> now they need to do a section where you have to use the video cam to see. They did some editing. Everyone's running. No one's screaming, though. They're all highly trained professionals. Whoops. Uh-oh. Someone's gonna die. And then spider monster comes by. Is that the big guy? We didn't see the big guy with the like diving helmet much, did we? They have like different monsters throughout the different places, I guess. Oh, they weren't even broken apart by then. 
Oh, spider time. Yay. <laughs> of course. Are there more? Oh, there's more than one of them. That's fucked up. I see. That's how all the body parts got there. The origin story of the spider monsters. I see. <laughs> They're like, uh... What is it? What are those aliens that are like... They lay eggs inside the bodies, and then they explode once they're fully grown. I want to play Alien Isolation again. Uh, over the last few days, the patients have been getting worse. What started as chest pain soon developed into a strange hardening of the skin and stiffening it of the joints until the patient is unable to move on their own. The illness has already proven fatal in some cases. Stranger still, some of the bodies have gone missing from the morgue. We need to get the remaining patients to a hospital as soon as possible. This is an worse. Um... There's Stranger Things this year, right? When is Stranger Things? Um, I thought they were making that in 2024. Is there anything cool coming out this year in terms of Netflix? Because I don't watch really anything besides I play video games. That's all I do. Uh, I must be going mad. I've been seeing some of my friends again, but that's impossible. They're dead. I know they're dead. I saw it happen, but every now and then I see them again. Watching me from across the room. Sometimes it feels like they're guiding me. Also, um, what's weird is that there's multiple illnesses. Because there's the illness that turns them into stone. And then there's the other one that turns them into spider. New Avatar on Netflix is actually okay. I watched a video about it being like the worst thing ever. But I guess that's like a personal opinion. What? I've heard both opinions. I've heard that people say it's okay, and I've heard people say it's the worst thing ever made. I mean, it's also... I don't know why they keep trying to remake fucking Avatar, bro. <laughs> like, it's already perfect. Why would you want to remake it? Like, it is such like obvious cash grab every time. Like, the animated series is... Like, I don't know what you could improve about it. I guess what they want to do is make something that is worthy of the animating, animated series, like, what is this? Pressure gauge valve. Um, and then make it like real people. But I don't think that the real people adds anything to it. What the fuck? Oh, you're gone. Okay, so I have the pressure gate. Fix the elevator. They want to milk the cow. Didn't like the sequel too much. Oh, I hated the, what is it? The Korra one? I forgot what it was called. That shit was terrible. <laughs> but the original one was amazing. I mean, I don't know. I did. I watched like a few episodes. By that time, I was already too old for... Where was it again? Nickelodeon? Did this open up? Aura is amazing, so I don't really, I don't my- Oh, God! No, 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 no! Fuck. I'm faster. They move so, like, slow. Alright, we're fine. <laughs> the Legend of Korra, yeah. I mean, it was just because you missed the original characters, right? Because the- Like, the- um, Someone had a really good comment. I Like, the video I watched about- um, it being bad had like if they want to make it like unique and edgy Why don't they make it about the time period where the fire nation just nation took over the world, right? Because the av like why do they always focus it on the avatar? I guess because it's called the, like avatar <laughs> like it's about the avatar because the original one is mostly about the characters rather than like about the um Do we have anything to do this now? No, we don't it's, it's more about the characters and their relationship to each other. Can I open this now? I cannot open this now. Okay, we need to find a way to put that in. But it seems like they always want to make, like, something flashy. Can we put this... It still doesn't work. What do I do with the thing I got? Pressure gauge valve. Um... I'm back here now. I came up this way, right? Machinery, maybe we go there. Chain storage, we still can't go that way. You're still a piece of shit. Is it across this? 
No, this was that thing. I don't remember where. We'll go Dorito, thank you for the seven. Is it in this room? We just pulled the lever here, right? Yeah, we just did this thing. Hmm. You're still chasing me. This way? This way is just the stairs again, right? Yeah. The lever room? There's another... The lever room that we were just in, that would make a lot of sense to me. I just don't... I didn't see it. Under, it does remind... I mean, any ship game reminds you of Under Depths of Fear. That was a good game, too. Oh, there's this thing right here. I see. I didn't know. I didn't notice that at all. Okay, so now we need to do the classic puzzle where it needs to hit the green. Okay, so that lowers it. That increases it. That lowers it slightly. That low. This one. There we go. That was the easiest puzzle of my life. Okay, now we can pull it. Aha! Uh -huh. And that opens the hatch down there. Yes. Got it. Save the game. Boom. You guys, don't touch me. Uh, I mean, we literally didn't even pull some of them. <laughs> this is a classic puzzle. Or like the one where you have like the, the chemical flask and then you have to make sure that they're all even by moving different... What the fuck? That is very large. I right, sir, you got a key for me, thank you. What is this? Is this like a huge vent thing? Or like water tanks? Oh, the water tanks so they can like have ballast on the ship or something? The helicopter's fixed up and we're almost back to the ship. What's going on in there? Uh, lots of crazy shit. Uh, I'm heading up to the superstructure now to release the lockdown. I've searched the lower decks and found no survivors. Understood. We'll be there to extract you soon. We've just got a visual on the ship. Looks like it's coming up on a large fog bank. No, be fast. It's going to disappear soon. Do not enter the fog. I'll explain later. Well, you had better hurry then. We don't have much time before the fog reaches you. Uh-oh. Okay. I love that he didn't say anything about the fucking giant spider monsters. He's like, no survivors. <laughs> what the? Nothing about the giant spider monsters. The I mean, I guess that's a little too much to explain uh, in like super fast. Okay, so what did we get? We got chain storage, which was one of the very close by doors. Was it this door? Yes, chain storage. And then we get the elevator drive chain. Check. He doesn't want to spoil the story for them. They can find it out for themselves. Boom. Take the elevator up to the superstructure. We're almost there. We're doing it. Let's save the game again because we're definitely going to get attacked. Okay. This storm thinking of the 26. Wasn't it this way? I swear it was this way. And then like around. Store was it this way? The elevator's right there, yeah, but it's like broken, right? Oh god. It is back. Okay, so we don't have to be wait, what the fuck? I love that there's just more appearing constantly. You literally fix it? Yeah, but it was. <laughs> Like, can I jump up it? Yeah, but like, <laughs> do I have to click a button, I guess? Because I can't, like, I'm jumping underneath the elevator, no? When I'm over there? Oh, yeah, now I can click the button. Here we go. Yeah, that, that, I don't want to jump down there. I just want to click this. There we go. Something is going to come out of this. I think. <laughs> I love how fucking slow this thing is. 
three. How do we are on deck seven? I'm hearing all kinds of creepy noises. Something is gonna come from that vent right there at the top. You see that? For sure. Out, outside, out of the vent. Ooh. No? Uh, Spider Man? <laughs> Alrighty then. I just did. They, they definitely build up some suspense. There's gotta be a payoff. Find a way on the bridge from the depths. Find a way up to the superstructure. We are at superstructure. We're on the bridge. I don't see superstructure on this. Nav deck. There's just bridge here. Looks completely different once again. Uh, level 3 security clearance is required to access the bridge. If you think you should have access but haven't been issued a key card, see the security officer on A deck. Okay. Can't open that. Need to beep that. On a so do we have to take the elevator again? Because we need to go to A deck, right? Which is down. I guess we could also walk one down. That's healthier, you know? Taking the stairs. Okay, we're now in like the whole office area where they work. Third office, wasn't that what we needed to do? Hi. It's like a prison bathroom. Oh no, there's a hiding spot. I don't like that. Raining. We gotta go fast, right? I mean, I'm assuming there's no time limit. What? Spun the chair and ran. Observation duty time. Spot the anomalies, guys. If you ever make an observation duty game, please never make it so that you have to move the camera. Do you have a gun? Snap. Wait, we're back around. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this. Please insert blank key card security clearance disc. Okay. But to further notice, the security disc for creating new key cards will remain with me. Over the last few days, we've seen a number of crew members trying to gain unauthorized access to the bridge to release the lockdown. And that's a risk I'm not willing to take. Things will be back to normal once we're out of this fog and it's safer to lift the lockdown. All right, so... Wait a minute. What room was that where the guy was? It's in one. Oh, code! 4239. Nice. 4239. We'll need that. These are pretty comfy places, honestly. These are very spacious, too. I mean, I guess they're officers, right? So there's some. They got the fancy rooms. Locked. Yeah, this is the second officer. Archive time. Um. What the fuck? Excuse me? Hi, where did you come from, bro? What? No, 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 no. Help. No, I closed the door by my face. Oh, it's Mr. X time. Huge man. I could escape now and go behind him, but that might be a bad idea. But maybe that's what the game wants me to do. I kind of want him to walk away, though. Oh, no. I should have probably taken my escape. I want to see what's in this room. This looks like a special room. Can you fuck off, sir? Thank you. We chillin'. What's this? I don't have anything. <laughs> what? Why can I do this? I'm assuming this is not what I need to do. <laughs> I don't think that's what I want. I think I want something else. 
Okay, he's gone. Can I open these? No, I can't. Alright, can we check this out again now? Save. Excuse me, what am I doing? Is a puzzle from Resident Evil. I'm assuming I need to open a specific set of doors, but I don't know. Yeah, it looks like a code, but like how? What's the code again? Four? There's no four even, so this is not going to work. All right, we'll have to go somewhere else to figure out what that's all about. We'll use the normal key code first, I think. And go in there. International Morse code. Why? Any lock I need to open here? Need to check around. This is an exit. That's not gonna work. Okay, so we wanna maybe we check the multiple decks. Let's go to another one. Keep out! Alright, never mind. We're not It won't open. Hi, sir. Oh, that's creepy. He's gone. He's a ghost. Locked as well. Probably not gonna be able to get in any of these, maybe. Never mind, we can. Uh, Scott, okay. Do we, is there one person we're interested in? I don't really know. Mm. Love the raining sound. <laughs> Not a bench. The fuck, I'm stuck! Door stuck! Okay, we're fine. That's a very spacious shower for a ship, I would say. We got laptops and everything. How fancy. All right, there's nothing here. I guess we just have to check all the rooms. There is toilets again. They also... Hi. They have a toilet in every single one of their rooms. Why do they need public toilets too? Doesn't set, that seem like a bit of a waste of space? Like, look, they got a whole bathroom. That is a bit of a weird placement for the toilet. I've never seen a toilet that is, like, <laughs> diagonal against the wall. Wouldn't you want to just put it, like, horizontally against the wall for easier access to the water pipes? I mean, one of these doors is going to have something. This one. Something. Aha! What was it? Four? Nine? Four, two, three, nine. That doesn't work. Four, two, three, nine. Well, fuck me then. That's surprising. Backwards because it was mirrored. It was definitely started with a four, I think. It was two, four, three, nine. No, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think that code works here. I think we le we'll, we'll have to do something else. So let's just keep checking the rooms. If we have to figure that out, we have to figure it out. But there's so many more rooms to check. So jumping the gun here seems a little unnecessary. Welcome aboard, the only recruits. Welcome aboard. Your personal belongings can be stored in your designated locker in the storage room across the hall. The combination of which has been set to your birth year. Feel free to change the combination. Any bulkier items have been stowed in the cargo hold. Okay. So we need to, uh, what is this locker? It's locker three. So it's your room? Who the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. So locker three, which is number, which is three? Three is Nick Stafford. And then we need to find what his birthday is. I'm assuming his birthday is not 4,300. Wait, was the code different? Four, three, two, nine. It's fucking wrong, bro. I was on the... Why are you interrupting me when I'm clearly solving the puzzle? Like, we need to go... We need to find some kind of birth year form now. And then we just need to look up when Nick Stafford was born. Uh, to the maintenance team, this morning I dropped my cabin key in the shower room... And I believe it may have fallen down one of the drains. If someone happens to find my key, I'd appreciate if you could return it. Derek Norton, first officer. 
Uh, uh, we need to find... There it looks like there's something under the drain. It can't be reached by hand. We need something to reach that. Okay. So many puzzles all at once. Um. G hack it. Picked up nameplate. Okay, then. Warehouse management, third edition. A complete guide to improving efficiency and minimizing costs in the modern warehouse. <laughs> Very interesting read. Highly recommend. Hi, are you gonna be moving? Yes, you are moving. I hate you. What the fuck is going on here, bro? Why is it so slow? Oh, it's the combination. Four. One, three, five. Four, one, three, five. Okay. Did you move? You didn't move. All right, nice. So that's that one, which that might give us some birthier stuff. Oh, this is not... They're like doing everything, man. This is like the non-linear section where you have to go once... Like in the... No, the beginning wasn't very non-linear. It was very linear. Where you have to go into... Oh, God damn it. I keep pushing myself against the fucking door here. To go into multiple areas. Anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Also, that laptop is clipped against the wall. Yeah, that's obviously for the drawers, yes. But I said it so I can remember it. <laughs> oh, God, what the fuck? All right, then, sir. You're just jump scaring me for no reason. That is extremely rude. Uh, we're going to go back up, solve that puzzle first before we keep going down, if that even does anything. Why aren't we checking bathroom? I don't think you can open this specific... Locked bathroom doors. Uh, we need to go to archive again, which was... Was it that? It was this. Okay. So... Four... One... Three... Five. Aha! Which gives us birth year, which makes us uh, know that Nick Stafford was 1984. All right, 1984. Let's go. Easy peasy. We're a genius. <laughs> uh, where was this? Was here, right? There, 19. So we still need to use this code, whatever it was, somewhere else. Uh, 19, 8, 4. 19, 8, 4. There we go. And then what are we going to get? We are going to get the string and hook, which allows us to go into the toilet and hook up whatever you put down here. Yes. Whee! Something behind me? I saw a shadow. <laughs> wow. Impressive? That's that's an impressive catch, man. Alrighty. Uh, we got the officer's key, which means we have to go back to that one door that was locked in the officer's area. <laughs> Bing, bang, boom, bang, boom. Get tiles instead of a pipe. Oh my god, hello? Uh, what are you doing? Peace. It isn't real. It's my hallucinations. I don't know what exactly is. Some of the stuff is real. Some of the stuff isn't real. Maybe none of it is real. It's locked. I thought we we're going to use the key there. Is there another room that was locked in this area? I don't remember, but there must have been. Yes. You unlocked it. Ooh, fancy. What is this? First officer. Got a similar type of room, though. Slightly larger, but not too much larger. And then this is where we gotta use the code. We have a blank key card. Check. Now we need to use... What was it? Oh, we need to do it... Huh? Four. Two. Three. Nine? Huh? I don't know if that... Reset. Four, two, three, nine. 
doesn't work. I think we need to do something else. I mean, there was way more to explore. So let's... Let's check, can we check this again? The cameras to know what the code is for sure because people keep saying different things. The code... Whoops. The one with the mannequin. Yeah. 4239 is correct, but that's not what we need right now. We need a different code. So we need to use that code somewhere else. So let's just explore further down the... Maybe? I don't know if there's going to be another the down area because this is where we stopped is there another one there is d deck aha the recreation deck. hello oh god jesus you were almost gonna grab me <laughs> stay away uh it's damn ghosts what the fuck there's a ghost on the ship another key or the what, officer door again? Picked up communications room key. Are you guys moving too? I got a coffee machine. You know me? Oh my god. Uh, is Mr. Diving Guy again? Run! Uh oh, why did this door close? I'm gonna just run out of here. Are you gonna kill me? Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me! <laughs> Fuck you, man! Now he's gonna get me! Run! Okay, I need to get back there. I need to get back there. Any lockers? Any lockers? Thank you. Hide. Okay. <laughs> he did smack me. I haven't saved in a while, man. Okay, we need to wait for him to disappear again. <laughs> Fucking spooky man. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> And then close the door behind me, yeah. He's walking somewhere. He's still walking. It's probably safe. It doesn't sound for He's opening a door. I mean, they could go. I think he's there. I think he's there. Okay, we're gonna go further down. I hope he's not here anymore. I don't know where he... Uh, library is... He fucking broke a hole in the wall, man! What the fuck? Alright, not safe, not safe. <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> the Mr. X on. Yes, this game is on Steam. I don't hear him anymore. So I'm gonna leave. Can you not attack me anymore? What even is this guy? Like, what are these different enemies? Did they just all appear because of the fog or the artifact or whatever? All right, what did he do? He broke down the wall? Oh, yeah. All right, then. The gym. How fancy. <laughs> he was working out. He was getting even, even stronger. We have officer mess hall. Very fancy looking place. Oh, we need to change the nameplate. We picked up a nameplate a while ago, right? Uh, being the chief mate, Norn. Oh, we need to do one of these. Sits at the head of the table. Table. Blackwood and Ar Ackerman like a glass of wine with their meals. Layton sits opposite to Blackwood. H Hackett sits at the end of the table closest to the galley. Well... We don't have all the... The fuck, that guy disappeared. There was a guy there before. We don't have all the nameplates, so doing this puzzle now is kind of pointless. We need to find the nameplates first. Kitchen. The officer's only kitchen. Are you serious? Oh, no, never mind. That's actually... So, <laughs> look at the difference. Officer's room. Common people room. Why didn't they just give them the same chair? Oh, we can save it. Nice. Okay. Relatively fancy fridge, I would say. Maybe there wasn't a better fridge asset. 
We still haven't used the communications key. Lounge. Lounge we've been. Where's communication? Galley. Yeah, there's nothing here. I think we should do that first. Communications room. And then... I mean, maybe we should just go to the... Okay, so we got Layton's nameplate. Wait, maybe we have all of them. No, we don't have all of them. Yeah, it's gotta be upstairs. Or maybe... Can we go even further down? Let's see. There's gotta be an end to this. So, no, this is the lowest we can go. Okay, so we're not needing to go further down. You have to go all the way up. Deck. Is it? It's not up here. This is where we need the key card. Communications. Here we go. Okay. And that's the international Morse code. Aha. Uh -huh. We need to. Tabs. <laughs> tabs. It's not tabs. Do we do SOS? <laughs> nope. Right, we need to do something there, obviously. Cool. I like that. And here, maybe, finally. Two. What is it? Three. Nine. Yes! <laughs> crest. Okay, crest is what we need to do. Nice. This is such a cool section. What a cool game. Crest. Uh, I don't know. Uh, and T. Boom. Ah. Nice library key, I see. Uh, is there options for motion blur? There are not. I didn't have any issue with it at all. Motion sway, we're gonna leave it all on. Don't really bother me at all. Okay, where do we go? All the way down again, right? For the mess area? That was library, if I remember. Library here, yeah. Aha, this thing. You unlocked it. And then we're gonna find, that's the room with the key, oh, with the code. Could we have seen that through the window as well? Maybe, wait, I'm curious. Yeah, so there's two ways to solve this puzzle. You could either use the camera or you could just look through the window. Clever. So that's always smart. That's very hard to do usually. Uh, to give multiple solutions to the puzzle so that the player doesn't get stuck if they don't find the specific solution that the developer wants them to find. There's another one of these. Nameplate. We still need a few more. What do you got? It's the piece, so we need to do the light puzzle now. Which was at the very beginning, where we had to run away from the guy. It's mine! Thank you. Are you gonna smack me now? Picked up wooden statue. Oh, jeez! <laughs> you dickhead. You suck. Anyway. Okay, now we need to do that puzzle, which I think was up somewhere. <laughs> Multiple endings. I'm not sure what is going on. It did a quick save there, so I'm kind of scared that it's going to kill me now. <laughs> I don't know if that was copyright free. I had to stop it for well, the potential copyright strike. This room. Yes, don't do anything stupid. All right, so we obviously need to do the... What are we trying to... A horse? Uh, that looks like a... What 
what am I trying to make? <laughs> oh, guy? The guy? Yeah, the guy. Like that? Aha. And then we need another one? No, that was it. That's the, the code for the safe. Let's go. Okay, so it's 12725. 12725, we're starting right. 12725, starting going right. All right. Don't attack me, please. Can't go, Captain, yet. Where was this again? This was here. Uh, that's why does it go the opposite way? Uh, 12. 7. 2. 5. I have to reset. It's so confusing because... Wait. This is... No, it needs to go like this, right? 12? Yeah, yeah. 7, 2, 5. That's also way easier. There we go. Yeah, I, drew, I rotated it weirdly. Uh, that's the last name, right? Right? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and there was one already on the table. Let's go. I feel like I'm going to get attacked. I would really like to save the game, but I don't know where the save point is anymore. That's fine, though. Uh, not there. Was it in this room? No. Whatever. Um. This is all the way down in the mess hall. The save with the drawers. I mean, hopefully it'll do an auto save when we're about to die. I assume it will. Otherwise, we're screwed. We don't need to do the key card yet. We'll do that when we get there. All right, so now we need to solve this puzzle, right? We have one's already there. Let's see. So we need to do being chief mate. Norton sits at the head of the table. Okay, so Norton needs to be here. That's one is easy. Change nameplate. Norn. Easy peasy. Then there were two people that like wine, right? Um, Blackwood and Ackerman like a glass of wine. Okay, so they're going to be at the wine table. Layden sits at the opposite of Blackwood. Hackett sits at the end of the table closest to the galley. Okay, so Hackett sits here. So Hackett needs to be this one. Which means that Ackerman... Wait, who's at the front of... Uh, this needs to be Blackwood, probably, right? Uh... Or Layden sits at the opposite of Blackwood, sorry. So this needs to be Layden. This needs to be Blackwood. And this needs to be the last one, which is Ackerman. There we go. He's busy. I like how many how many puzzles all at once it just puts in puts you in here. Captain's key, which we have to go. It's a bit annoying. You have to go up and down, up and down, up and down. But I mean, I guess it's just the the way this space was designed. What are they doing? When are they releasing that space game for, like, the new Until Dawn space game? Isn't that one coming out at some point? What? Did, where am I right now? Communications? Am I too high? I think I need to be on A deck. No, this it, this is A deck. Wait, but we need this one. No, that's a nav deck. That's where we don't go. Yes, this one. <clears throat> there, Captain. Okay, I haven't saved still, but there will be a save point here, right? <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> it's fine. <gasps> Okay, so now we have everything we need, and then we need uh, where the computer was over here. Oh god, well, fuck. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, oh no, I'm stuck. It's the damn. <laughs> what is that visage or uh, Silent Hill originally? I don't know, I've never played Silent Hill. 
The Silent Hill remake, I'm probably gonna play it, but oh boy, the short message thing looked extremely bad. I didn't play it myself, but... Uh, what? It looks very cheesy. Are you gonna attack me? What is going on here? There's like, oh, it's a parasite in the brain. It's the spider parasite in the brain. Patients appear to be suffering from an unknown illness. The illness progresses as follows. The patient experiences intense chest pain, which will worsen over time. The fatigue begins to set in, and the color of the patient's skin begins to take on a pale, paler tone. The patient will begin to show signs of impaired mobility due to stiffening of the joints. X-rays show signs of calcification of internal organs, beginning from the lungs and then spreading out throughout the rest of the body. This makes breathing difficult for the patient. Calcification begins to affect the skin as well, giving the patient a stone-like appearance. The viru virulence, virulence of the illness... I don't know, vir Anyway, uh, it seems to be related to the length of exposure to the fog, with the quickest deaths occurring within two days, while others have survived for up to two weeks. The cause of death in most cases is respiratory failure, caused by excessive calcification of the lungs. However, the process seems to continue even after death until the entire body has been calcified. Collect all the notes achievement! We have been... That means we're extremely close to the end. Spoiler! And we've also done a good job exploring the story. All right, was there anything in here? No, it's just a guy. We're definitely not gonna collect all the coins though. I don't even know where the fuck they could be because I have only seen the very first coin and after that I didn't find a single one. The fuck? Surgery? Oh, that's gonna be yummy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yummy. Stop. Padlock key. I can't really see you, sir. What? He isn't there. It's fake. My padlock key for one of the... One... Padlock somewhere here, probably. Morg. Oh boy. He's moving. Another padlock key? Can we all chill the fuck out? Stop smacking me! <laughs> God damn it! Everyone keeps smacking me around, man. What is this room? Nothing in here? Yeah, why can't we be friends? Oh, it's for the door? Ah, uh, there's three though. We only have two. Oh, it's a keep out area! Where we couldn't go in. It's the medical ward where everyone went crazy. Okay, so that's two unlocks. So we need another padlock key, which is gonna be in your desk. Nope, it's not. Gotta be somewhere. Uh, sir, you got a padlock key for me? Um. What? This is where we got. Did we get one here? We missed the door? Wasn't it locked? These doors, check. Where's there. Oh, I thought this door led to the same way. Yeah, no, we already went here, but there was nothing. Yeah, I wonder what this with the spider people then. If the so the stone people are like the people from the ship turn into the stone people. What what about the spider people? <laughs> What's with them? Or is that just fake? Oh, this infirmary. Yeah, but wait, wasn't this locked before? I swear, I guess it wasn't. <laughs> Oh, there's way more here. Okay. Ooh. So many... How many people were on this ship? I can't open any of these doors. Can I look inside there? I can't. And there it is. The last padlock key. Okay, so... <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Ping pong. 
Bing bong. That looks sick. They're all gonna break free. That's a cool screenshot right there. No, thank you. Yeah, this game is awesome. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Where's Mr. Diving, diving Bellhead? He's totally gonna give us like a final chase. We're probably already in the fog and doomed for life. So now we have security clearance disc, blank key card, which means we can now go to, where was it? I think it was a deck and then make the security thing. Right there. Boop. Let's go. <laughs> Scott Ackerman. That's not me, but I'll take it. Well, maybe it is me, actually. No, because we were John, right? That's like the Ackerman guy. The ship will be entering the fog any minute now. Where the hell are you? There was an Ackerman. Uh, I would like to leave. I didn't save. Can I save real quick? Wasn't there a save point somewhere here? What the fuck is a save point? There's no save points anywhere. The archive? There. Save point. Okay. Save on... Uh... On this one. Sure. Superstructure. Save over that one. Okay. Now we go. Here goes nothing. No one was able to do this. We were the only genius who could figure this out. It's locked. That's because right there. There we go. Release the lockdown. They all got high tech. Wasn't this ship? I mean, I guess they got, they were born in 1984. So they're, this is like normal technology. Boom. We're already in the fog. It's too late. And I let everything out now. The way out. Release the lockdown on the ship. Let, was there actually like maybe two endings? Where there was like one ending where you don't la raise the lockdown? And we don't let them out? Oh, this... Music? Dubba, dubba, dubba. Excuse me. It's epic time. Helicopter, hello! Wait, where's my flashlight? I can't turn it off anymore. Am I running faster or am I insane? I feel like I'm running faster. Uh, there it is, there it is. Why are you all the way over there, man? Are we gonna miss it? It's just gonna be too late. And then the the guy is gonna grab us. Nothing? I was expecting we would be attacked. Well, that's gonna be a very complicated story to tell. <laughs> we lived? I'm still confused about the different monsters. Like where did Bell Guy come from? Or like diving? Uh, helmet guy and it goes into the fog and it disappears yet again Where did spite where did the spiders come from? I mean it is a horror game So there's like horror creatures, but the the stone people are very clearly explained right return complete the game um, There we go. That was amazing. I really enjoyed that. I'm a little confused as I said about the specifics of the spider people Maybe I didn't pay close enough attention because I felt like they were only explaining like, very clearly how those stone people came to be, which I really love the stone people and how terrifying they were. Like, once they... Because in the early game, they don't do anything, but when they start, like, attacking you and they, like, sneak up on you all the time, that was freaking spooky as hell. <laughs> you really... I don't know what, 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 
was with the spider people but, but and also the artifact because so the story right recap so there was a father who was an archaeologist he found three artifacts two of them he took with him on a ship one of them he sent to his son the father disappears with the artifacts the son goes on this cargo ship with the artifact and that artifact does presumably contain a virus of some sorts turns people what, what, what and then the fog <laughs> so the the virus no because the fog turns people into stone so what's with the artifact then because there wasn't really anything with that i guess maybe the artifact attracts the fog to the ship and then the fog turns people in the stone and then for some reason there's spider people and for some reason there's a giant stone guy which is probably the sun i would imagine all right so anyway we maybe not have fully understood the story but i had a lot of fun very well designed game this is something that i think a lot of game designers especially horror designers can learn from not frustrating not too many crazy puzzles good atmosphere lots of changes and like uh, change-ups in the way that the visuals work like with the lighting the lighting like one time you have a flashlight then you don't have a flashlight then you have flares then you have a flashlight again and it like constantly was changing uh, it was building the tension with those monsters at first like the stone monsters at first not attacking you and then they attack you um there may be like i find it very easy to let myself be immersed maybe for some people it's like well if the, sp if the stone guys grab you nothing happens so it's not scary for me that doesn't matter uh, this game shows perfectly like i never died i never died well there was that one time we died to the to the spider um but a horror game is only scary it's it stops being scary when you're frustrated and i think that this game did a really good job at not making the player frustrated so anyway i know i'm rambling but i just thought that was very interesting and i hope people learn from it i hope other developers see this and make something at least not necessarily similar to this game but just learn from the learn from the game design that was in here but which, which i thought was very clever anyway thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join i love the gamers here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye <laughs> let's go we did it okay so let's see the other game um is very much too long for today because it is a so this is this game straight up took exactly two hours uh the other game is two or three hours the other game is two hours plus long which means that i will be going far too late because i've been tired as hell so what was the yeah there's an achievement for finding all the coins 0.9 percent of people have all the coins what the fuck <laughs> how the he where were they how bad are we at this game we found one of the coins that's so hard to get them all holy shit uh yeah the game is called decimate drive i really want to play it but it's going to be like far too long i could play this game let's play this game this game looks spooky as as all get out it's called cave phobia let me actually check that this one is is good enough time um let me see it's a spooky cave game. Trying to look up cave. Where is it? Phobia. Oh, yeah. Can I even search that here? I can. It is, yeah, perfect length. Okay, perfect. Let's check it out. It is a spooky cave game. You, you I will always have more than enough horror stuff. What, no phobia? Not phasmophobia. This is cave phobia. All right, you can see it. Let's go. Uh, strict settings first. Game volume is fine. Bloom. Everything is disabled. I guess if it's disabled by default, we'll leave it disabled. Everything ultra. Uh, all right. I <laughs> What's the skeleton doing there? All right, play VHS tape. Here we go. Cave phobia. Lost within a deep underground cave system, you come to realize you are not entirely alone. A strange poisonous spore, spore-like infestation has taken over the cave system's depths and is slowly transforming all living organisms in its path. Now you must survive and find a way out of the claustrophobic, disorienting cave system before whatever lurks in the shadows finds you. Oh boy. Here we go. Timer and everything. We are in a cave. How did we get here? I don't know. We are... Yeah, there's no way down or anything. Why the fuck are we here? Glow stick. <laughs> what? It's a glow stick flashlight. Uh, depth is 1,753 meters? I'm dead, dude. 
Do I have any phobias? I mean, I don't know. Whether escape, pause, save the game at any time. Okay, thank you. It's, it's telling me all kinds of stuff. I'm not necessarily claustrophobic at all, but being here would be utterly terrifying. I mean, there's those stories. What the fuck? The mushroom went flying. Uh, there's like that one story. I watched a video about this recently. Why is it shaking? Stop shaking! See, crawl, get up, space, jump. Okay, there we go. There's a story about like a few d divers that got stuck in like an oil pipe and they just were left to die. Like that shit is terrifying. Right? I mean, that's just <laughs> anything that involves death is pretty terrifying, I'd say. What the fuck? Oh my God, what are you doing, sir? Excuse me? Ow, ow, what? Help, I'm... That was extremely unexpected. What are you doing? Hello? <laughs> Do I have to turn off my flashlight? Is that what's going on? Okay, yeah, it's... It, boy, where the fuck? That was... I thought this was gonna be like... Ominous, slow building cave game, but instead we get immediate enemies. Also, what the hell is going on here? Hiding spot. Oh, we can hide. We can hide next to the spiders. Yeah, great, dude. Oh, that's awesome. My favorite. <laughs> Anyone afraid of spiders? Okay. Where's this guy gone? Hey, Auntie, what's up? Red. Red means scary. Do we get a red fly? Or Yes. What? I can throw it? I got green and red at the same time? Can't stand up anymore. I don't really know what I'm doing. Wait, am I... Am I just small now? I thought I was taller before. <laughs> I have shrunk. You got the red flashlight now. Where did that guy go? Was he just there to show me how to hide and then I didn't hide? I failed the first mission. We're going deeper. This seems like a bad idea. I'm, I'm like doing it wrong. This is very confusing. I could probably use the red glow stick to know like where I've already been maybe. And I can't sprint. Oh my God, I can zoom. Uh, I'm just going anything that leads up. I'll I'll go How the fuck are we gonna get that much? We need to take like an elevator or something. There's no way um Yeah, that's totally normal oh, Fuck can I go in? Ah. Oh Jesus. Ah oh, fuck ah. What the fuck? You can't do that, sir! I can't run anymore! I broke my character! What is he doing? What the fuck is this attack animation, bro? Okay, now I can stand again and run. Okay, there we go. Uh... I know I need to put the light down, but I'm fast as fuck, boy. I'm going deeper, though. This is terrible. We're in Jank City right now. Wait, we're back here, bro? Oh my god. Yes. I'm assuming we have to go up, right? Like, we want to get out of here? Okay, we're back here. Whatever. Jump. I'm throwing up. Alright, anyway, other way to go? What the fuck? There's like some... We can go in there, but that leads to the same spot, right? Unless this is different. I'm just looping around. Left wall strats. Ah, oh, you bitch -o. You bitch -o. You know what? Looping time. You think I'm scared, you bitch? Oh. Oh, fuck. Run! I'm just gonna get back to where I already was. Why the fuck? There's only one way to go, and the one way leads back to this fucking hiding spot every time. All right, left wall strats, here we go. Okay, well, left wall strats let us here. Do we just do left wall strats from this fucking game? Yeah, this game, a bit specific, especially compared to the previous game, this game is a little, little extra bonus jank, 
jank with a cherry on top, but that's totally fine. Am I going back to where I came from? Yes, because that's where my... Well, let's check this out, I guess. Uh... What? Okay, then. We are not... Oh, there's another one! What the fuck are these, bro? This is so insane. <laughs> the fuck is going on with these enemies? I have all kinds of colored glow sticks. I'm just I'm just keeping this one. I'm running straight. Running straight until it doesn't let me anymore. Is it just still after me? What the fuck is this? I'm gonna get stuck here. Okay, don't go that way. Yeah, who put these glow sticks here? Yeah, this is uh, special. Hey, I like I like a little jank sometimes. Oh hi. What the fuck? Oh my god, it's a it's an ankle biter. I'm back here. No 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 no. <laughs> yes, we're going up more. If we actually have to go 70, this is the longest game of all time. If we actually have to go that far. There's no fucking way. This is the biggest shit of all time. Okay, we're getting somewhere new though. Oh, and we're, we're getting up. We've ra- Well, I mean 10 meters, that's not that much, but <laughs> it's something. Okay, we can go back down there. Don't want to go there. Uh, this is the only way. All right. Well then. Can I swap out my light for a light that's not so green? Can I like pick up one of the other ones? Am I going back to where I was? I have no clue. Also, where's all this water? I hear water, but I see no water. Oh my god. What the fuck? What was he even climbing on there? Did you see that? <laughs> okay, right wall. Are we going back now? Stop it, dickhead! Am I like looping back on myself? I know I have a compass and everything, but... Oh my god, it's this dude again. Alright, this game might be... One little bit too much jank for... <laughs> for us. Holy crap. I'm going back down again. I don't want to go down. I'm like even deeper than I was before. I know I can turn on my light, but like why? If I can just run. Uh, oh my god, there's more. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep looping it up. Shit. Oh my god, fucking what? Am I even able to be killed? Hello. I'm going into green fog. That seems good. What happens when you die? I don't know. We're gonna find out at some point. All right, this seems like a next area. <coughs> All right then. <laughs> I, th I think that's enough cave phobia for one <laughs> lifetime. <laughs> the fuck was that, bro? Uh, well, how long is this other game? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I don't mean to be rude, but that. That was a bit janky. Uh, let's see. I forget how long this game is. Um, yeah, this game is too long. All right, well, uh, I only have games that are an hour long, which is slightly too long because I need to be up very early tomorrow to be to go to a furniture store to get some furniture. So I'm going to call it there. Thank you guys so much for joining. Hey, we played Lazarus. Lazarus was a ton of fun. Last game was a little jank. It's okay. Uh, thank you guys so much for chilling. I will see you all tomorrow with another stream, which tomorrow is gonna be uh, Terrible Trio Phasmo. It's been so fucking long since we played Terrible Trio Phasmo, so you better be there or be square. If you want to watch some 60 seconds, I saw people say 60 seconds, play some 60 seconds. I have a video right here uh, that 
was not the stream from yesterday. If you haven't watched this, there's a very high likelihood that you haven't watched this yet. So if you're watching over on YouTube, go check that out. Thanks so much for joining over on YouTube. I appreciate you all. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your evening. Bye-bye, guys. Have a good one.